Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm here. I made it. I'm sorry I'm so, uh, late. How's my dick? Is it safe or well? It's fine. Well, it, it, for now it is. Listen, um, I'm late because I had to go to another hospital appointment. I know I've been going to the hospital a lot recently. Uh, I will tell you why I've been going to the hospital a lot recently. Um, my, uh, my pee is slow. I noticed a couple of months ago that my pee slowed down. Usually I go like a racehorse. It slowed down a little bit. You know what they say, right? If something changes in your in your normal habits, you gotta go to the doctor. I went to the doctor. I got blood tests and stuff. Uh, and then they found that my PSA level was raised, which is uh, your your prostate. If you're if you're a, a man with a prostate, uh, so I was referred to a consultant who um, put his fingers into my ass and made me pee on a robot and all sorts of stuff. Um, and uh, and now. Oh, sorry, I had to have an MRI as well, and off the back of the results of the MRI, they now want to do a biopsy on my on my prostate. Yeah, pee on a robot. Yeah, to uh, the 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 robot measured my flow. Yeah, yeah. So I have to have a biopsy done next week, a week today, next week, which uh, which is which is an odd one too, because basically I have to give myself an enema, which is going to be fun. And, uh, and then they're going to stick a x-ray probe with like a needle on the end of it into my ass to take samples of uh, my prostate. Yeah. They can't do the enema for me? I think they probably can, but they just, I think they just give you a kit. They give you a kit and you just like, it's not like a full-fledged one. It's like, a, like an at-home one. I think they just need it to be a, a bit cleared out before they go in, you know? I don't know if it's going to be overly painful. It's just a uh, local anesthetic, but uh, there's like, a little bit of like healing time needed after. Um, that's not even the worst part of it, okay? In November, I have to go in and they're going to put like a, a camera into my dick hole. So <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. Um, but I, they got to figure out what's going on, right? So, yes. Yeah. I know, I know, I'm not happy about it, but I'd still rather find out. The, the consultant said it's like on the fence whether it could be prostate cancer. I'm too young, really, to have it. It'd be, it's very rare for somebody young to have it. But um, given like the results of the MRI, he said your PSA level's up, but your, your prostate's not big. It hasn't like grown or whatever, which... They have some metric that they measure all this on, and they have to then check based on this, like, scale of math that they do around it or whatever. He said, I'm on the fence. It could go either way. So, we'll see. Thank you for checking. Well, I hope everything's fine, too. And I'm glad I checked as well, because if it is something bad, you get in there early, you can get it treated, right? It's better than leaving it, uh, leaving it too late. Yeah. Well, I hope it's fine, too. Uh, the, my family has like uh, like waterworks issues though. My, like I was talking to my dad, and my dad's just had like all sorts of not prostate cancer. He has had cancer, um, but he had bowel cancer, um, which you know was was shit. He had it like ten years ago, but he's he's recovered from it. They had to like do surgery on him and everything. Um, but he's had issues with his prostate. His dad had his issues with his prostate and stuff as well. So I don't know. It might be just one of those things that, you know, runs in the family or whatever. But I don't have like any other like symptoms, you know, like I, I don't I don't wake up in the middle of the night and urgently like need to piss or anything like that. Uh, there's no like blood where there shouldn't be or anything. I run in the family. I don't I do not run in the family. No, I, I do not. I try not to run as much as possible, actually. And his father's 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 boyfriend's uh, postman, yeah. So that so that's where I'm at. Uh, but I thought I should tell you guys just in case, you know, it, it's gonna be a bit. It, it'll be a, a little bit off and on for like probably the next couple of weeks with like appointments and shit like that. But hopefully in the end it'll just be all clear. Uh, maybe just some some obscure ass shit that I can just take some medication for or whatever, and it's not it's not anything worse than that. You know what I mean? Talking about it is good. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm, I don't. I don't like. I'm not like overly 
you know, private or whatever, like, I, I don't mind talking about it. It's not, it's, I mean, it's interesting enough. You learn a lot. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, there's some of it I'm not looking forward to, obviously. Like, uh, like giving myself an enema at home is not some, something that, like, I, I ever thought I would have to do. But there you go. I'm going to have to do it. And, uh, and also having uh, so many uh, things in inserted into my ass was not something I really expected ever either. But I mean, I guess it's going to happen, right? Like, you know. The right NHS now. is doing its job right? Not over here. It's, uh, <laughs> I read the diarrhea is actually hereditary. It runs in your genes. Yeah, yeah. I also heard that as well. No, we don't have the NHS here. We have the States of Jersey Health Service. Which is uh, which is run much like the NHS. I mean, I don't I don't get billed or anything. I don't have to pay, I don't have to pay for anything. It's pretty good. You know, good for talking about. It. Better to reduce the stigma. Yeah, well, that's what they. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna if it turns into anything. But I just thought, you know, if anybody else out there is ever wondering or whatever, you know, you should go get checked. If there if anything anything in your habits, like I was talking to Lewis and Flax about it. And Lewis and Flax were like, I've, you know, I, neither of us, well, like they, they both said individually. I don't think they were speaking for each other on the topic of pissing. Um, but they said, you know, like both of them said, I've never had, I've never like gone like a racehorse before. But see, I've always had like a really strong stream. Like when I pee, I pee, you know what I mean? But I just noticed recently that it's like slowed down, you know, like it almost feels like. It almost feels like my, my bladder's not like emptying itself out, but they test it and it is. But like sometimes I'll go, I'll pee, and then uh, like, you know, maybe five minutes later, I feel like a slight urge to go again. You know what I mean? But like I know that if I tried to go, nothing would come out. Like it's like my bladder's like confused or something, you know? No chance of a kidney stone. I don't know. Uh, I mean, there could be, because I know that sometimes that that's. That, that that's I have like symptoms of potentially there being a kidney stone, but I think they're gonna rule all this stuff out first and then if nothing comes of it, you know, start checking everywhere else. I don't know how much of what I've had done covers all of those areas. Like I had an MRI on the region that my, my prostate is in. I don't know if that would find kidney stuff as well or what. I don't know. The MRI is cool though. Like, uh, it's it, it's it's an interesting machine. It's a loud machine. It's probably an infection plus inflammation. Yeah. Uh, well, they thought it was a an infection at first. They thought I had a um, like like a UTI at first. So they gave me a course of antibiotics, but it it didn't uh, it didn't do anything. Um, and then I went in for another blood test after I'd been on the antibiotics, like maybe a month later, and uh, my PSA level was still, was still up. Like it fluctuates. I don't think PSA is like 100% accurate, but I think it's like a more of an indicator, you know? It could be Sugun, yeah, it could actually be yeah. PP amputation it is. Well, the thing is, if it, if it is something wrong with uh, with my prostate and it, and it was so bad that I had to get my prostate removed, that would be kind of shitty. But we'll just see what what happens. Because I think without your prostate, I think uh, I think there's like you can't you can you can no longer produce man batter, which is not so much of a problem. But also, I think your ability to have a boner is also either reduced or completely taken away, which, come on, I mean, I I like getting boners. You know, I, 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 will, I want to continue to have boners, like, for the rest of my life, ideally. So, we'll see what happens, yeah. Well, I like, I mean, I like getting a boner as well. It's nice, right? Not the tromboners, no, no. So, so, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. When I find out more, I'll let you know. But for now, that's where we're at. Yeah? I'm a tromboner now. Let us know when you get a boner. Okay, I'll let you know. Anyway, moving on. We're doing a hashtag ad for Brewmaster Beer Brewing Simulator. A game that just came out today. A game that came out today on PC that is going to be coming out on console at some point in the future. They're working on a console version. Um, from what I understand, I've never played it before. This is the first time we're going to play it. You could upgrade your house in this game. You can make brews. The, the emphasis is not so much on drinking the brews that you make. 
but more creating home brews. And you can design your own labels and branding for the brews that you make. And then you can upgrade your house. I don't, there might be more to it. Did I get a beer as well? Do you drink beer IRL? No, I don't drink beer that much IRL, no. I don't. I'm sure that they're glad I spent the first 20 minutes of the ad talking about my prostate. No, see, that's why I didn't. I talked about it and then I did a separate, we can, we can edit the first part out and just come to the, where I say hashtag ad, right? That's the start of it, you know? Never get high on your own supply. Never drink uh, your own beer. Well, I think, um, I think people who, I don't know if any of you guys actually brew your own beers at home. Um, the, I've seen like at home brewing kits and it's crazy. It's like a whole chemistry set, right? It's got all those tubes and there's like, like condensation and all that kind of shit. You do sometimes, it's very nice. Okay, well, apparently, if you do home brewing, you will really appreciate this game. And also, if you don't do home brewing, you'll learn a thing or two about home brewing by playing this game. Brewmaster mode. In this mode, you'll learn to brew, complete jobs, and enter competitions, and progress through a story that'll make you a true brewmaster. Recommended for new players. Okay. Welcome, brewer. <laughs> You're about to take your first steps into the world of home brewing, a world packed with creativity, discovery, and, most of all, excellent beers. Brewing is an art with endless possibilities where true mastery can take a lifetime. Yet, at its heart, it's wonderfully simple. Anyone can pick up a brew pot, throw a few ingredients together, and create a tasty, thirst-quenching beer to share with friends and family. So that's exactly what you should do first. Let's get brewing. Brew a beer using the extract brewing method from Jeff. Wait, I clicked on this and it and it said something. Oh yeah, extract brewing. Extract brewing skips the mashing stage used to create fermentable sugars in all grain brewing, instead using malt extracts that already contain these sugars. It's consequently a slightly easier easier brewing process than all grain brewing. And best suited for those new to home brewing. Okay, gotcha. Nice. How's the uh, FPS? The the FPS. Nice. I guess this is my. Oh yeah. Look at this house. What a beauty. Holy crap! I would live here. No problem. Um, okay. Open my equipment cupboard. The storage screen is where you can retrieve requ equipment or ingredients that you own. Sure. To retrieve an item, select the items icon and press the retrieve button. I'm retrieving. Okay. Nice. Oh my god, it's like, it's just like played up. Okay, fill brew pot with 21 liters of water. No problem. Okay. I want to open and close the tap. I need 21 liters. Oh, you know what? I need to open this, right? I gotta take the I gotta take the lid off. Stow item? Oh shit, no, I didn't want to stow the item either. Hey, listen to the music in the background. Can you hear that? Uh where's my uh where's how do I oh unstow the item? Okay. Right, so I can place the item. I can rotate it. Ah, remove lid. I'm very smart, by the way. What did it say? 21 liters. 21 liters of water. Okay. No problem. It sounds like towns. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? You could do an x-ray as well. See, look. We can see all of the particulars. We can see all the particulars about this pot. This is going to take forever. Can we, you can only open one tap. 21 liters. Holy crap. Okay, let's go have a look around while this thing is going. So this must be where we can do, like, taste tests. Oh, shit. What's all this crap? Finished beers? We don't have any. 
Oh no. Oh, we can accelerate time. You want to accelerate time? You can use your watch to accelerate time. Oh shit. Uh oh. I think I put too much water in. Um, you know what? It's probably fine, right? There's 22.24 liters in here. Uh, okay, so heat the brew pot on the kitchen hob. No problem. How do you turn this bad boy on? Okay, whilst the water heats, we can add our first ingredients. Okay, retrieve a can of malt extract from the fridge freezer. No problem. Uh, malt extract. Light malt or amber malt? Retrieve two kilograms of any malt. Sure. Let's try light malt. Uh, we want two kilograms. Got it. Add two kilograms of malt to the brew pot. Okay. Stop pouring. Oh my god, look at this. Ew. Ew. Okay. Good. Uh, retrieve a bag of steepable grain from the ingredients cover. Uh, where was the ingredient? Oh, yeah. Steepable, a bag of steepable grain. Do we want ultra pale or Vienna crystal? Um, confirm. 50 grams. Okay. To clip steepable grains, look at the container whilst holding the grains and press E. Look at the container. Look at the container whilst holding the grains and press E. Okay, place items. Oh, I see. He's using like a clothes, uh, like a clothes pegs to. Uh, it's like a like a like a tea. It's like a, it's like tea leaves in a bag sort of thing, right? But you got to clip it on so it doesn't get lost in there. Boil the wort in brew pot. Continue heating the brew pot until the wort is boiling at around 100 degrees Celsius. You can use your watch to accelerate the time. Okay. We're going at 100 times. I'm too scared to go to 200 times. It's going to be too fast, right? So we got to get this up to 100 degrees. It is just like Weed Shop 3, yeah, it's almost exactly like Weed Shop 3 is a lot like this, yeah. Oh my god, I should have gone to 200. Oof, what, what if I just do like a really quick... Oh look, it's fine. What about 500? Maybe too fast? 200? 500? Holy crap, it takes so long. Okay, we're almost there now. We're almost at boiling. Hundred degrees. Come on, you can do it. Just pass that threshold. Let's go. Time to add another crucial ingredient: hops. Whoops, I went too uh, too high. Okay, retrieve one bag of bittering hops and one bag of British hops. Uh, so we want... Let's get some ruggle. Let's get some ruggle and some, uh, and some magnus. Okay, ruggle. Ruggle magnus. All right. Add the bag of bittering hops, Marauder, or Magnus to the boiling wort. Uh, this is uh, Ruggle. This is Magnus, right? Okay. 
Continue boiling the wort for 50 minutes and then add the British hops. Use your watch to accelerate time, then after 50 minutes, add the second bag of hops. Keep boiling the wort throughout. Um, 50 minutes. So what, it's got to be 325? 325. I'm going. Okay. We've done it pretty much, right? Putting my watch away. Um, and then we want to clip this thing on as well. Cool. Continue the boil for 10 minutes. Then remove all bags and turn off the hob. 10 more minutes. Okay. Is this laundry? It's basically like uh, laundry, yeah. I'm boiling my socks. Okay. Let's remove this. Remove this. Remove this. And turn off the hob. It's vital to cool the wort before adding yeast. Use the calendar to advance time by a day. Um, okay. One day. Advance. Okay, it's at 20 degrees. Retrieve fermentation container from the equipment cupboard. Fermentation container. Retrieved. Uh, pour the wort into fermentation container small. While holding the brew pot, look at the fermentation container and press E to pour. Okay, so we want to place this item here. We want to pick up the wort and then we want to um, pour into. Cannot pour while lid is attached. Oh, shit. Okay, let me just put this down here. Um, and then we want to uh, remove the lid. There we go. No! Now we can pour into it. Uh, while holding a look at the fermentation, make sure the lids are off both containers. They are, okay. Oh. We're filling it right up. It's like diarrhea. Mm. Okay, stop pouring. Okay, this is done. What are we going to call this brew? Retrieve a packet of yeast from the fridge freezer. Okay, opening. Getting my yeast. Uh, what kind of yeast do we want? Do we want some so SoCal Ale 1 or Mild Ale? Let's get some British Ale yeasts. Okay. Retrieved. Alright, pour all of the yeast into the fermentation container. I'm yeasting up my my uh, my wart. It's kind of satisfying. Okay, uh, closing the lid will prevent your beer from becoming contaminated during during the fermentation. Okay, so we have to close the lid. It's closed. Let me just chuck this out. Use the calendar to wait for 15 days. Come on, that's how long it takes. Okay. Two weeks for a brew. Retrieve a bag of corn sugar from the ingredients cupboard. Corn sugar. Uh, crystal malts. Corn sugar. Retrieving. All right. Add 150 grams of corn sugar to the container. Okay. 150 grams. I don't want to put too much. Oh, shit. I put way too much. Okay. Stop pouring. Uh, retrieve the plastic barrel and a tube. Brew a beer using the extract brewing method. Retrieve a plastic barrel and a tube from the equipment cupboard. Wait, do I have to put this in here? Oh my god. Okay, plastic barrel, retrieving. And the tube, retrieving. Nice. Use a tube to transfer your beer to a plastic barrel. 
Gotcha. Um, so we want to... Uh, can I place while the lid is attached? Okay. Let's put this tube... Connect the tube. Oh, I need to put the barrel down, I think. Um, connect tube. Oh, I need to take the lid off this one, too. Uh. It's, it's happening? It's a plastic keg. If I place the barrel on a lower surface than the fermentation container and then connect the tube, I did not do that. How do I get my tube back? Okay, cancel the tube connection. Let's place this here. It's going through the floor. It said to place it on a... Is there like a better way of doing this? Or do you think just putting it on the floor is the way to do it? Is it working? Now we're siphoning with gravity. It's going much faster, right? should be maybe we could have put this thing up here and then siphoned it down here okay connect the tube um and top and then open the tap oh i didn't open the tap tap oh i didn't attach the tube That's better. Whoops. I just put it right into the top. That's no good, right? This is the way that we want to do it. Okay. And then we can speed up time a little bit if we want to. It's done. Okay. Close the barrel's lid and then wait 20 days. Come on. 20 days. I gotta wait 20 days? Okay, I'm gonna wait 20 days then, I guess. Advancing. What year is it? Man. There's no way, right? It takes this long to make a beer. Taste and package your beer. Time for all your hard work to pay off. Bring the barrel to the taps in the tasting room and give your beer a try. I'm on it. Or where's the tasting room? What a place, eh? Holy shit. Um, ooh. It's pale? It's semi-carbonated? It's slightly hazy. It's malty and sweet? There's a spider web here now. It's at 8.8 .8 on the multi and sweet scale. Aroma and flavor notes. Woody, ester, grass, mint, earthy, plus six more. Hmm. Ooh. It's got a, a light body with 5% contamination. Oh, I don't know what any of this stuff means. It's more like a British golden ale. This is too much information for me. Like, I don't know what any of this means. The packaging screen is where you can name your finished beer, choose its style, and also design a label for the bottle. Now this I like. Okay, what are we going to call it? Old speckled dick. That's nice. Yeah. It's a British golden ale with a Belgian bottle uh, and a tulip glass. No, if you you got to drink it out of a beer mug, right? That's the only way to have this stuff. Um, label maker, edit your label. Illustration border. I don't know what these do. Oh, I see. Look, it's doing a uh, metallic. Oh, that's nice. Some shine. Shine. Color. Hmm. 
Wait, it didn't update the color. It's all washed out. Perfect. Oh man, this is like doing this is this is like being on the apprentice. This is like something that they would make on the apprentice as well. Right? Okay. So that's the illustration border. The illustration itself. Texture. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. These are good. Look at this. Look at this. This is neat. Let's put this ram on here. Nice. Old speckled dick. Perfect. Okay. What are these colors here for? Oh, you can change. You can change how he looks. You can make him look like a, like a, like a hell beast. Oh, I like that. What's this other color do? I don't even know what that affects. Okay, confirm. Background border. Oh, that's good. That's good. Texture, sure. Background, ABV text. Scale. Oh, yeah, this is like, this is so you can see how much alcohol is in it, right? 4.2% sure beer style text british golden ale scale okay let's make that a little bit bigger um beer name text this is the one old speckled dick amplitude phase what's amplitude do i don't know it doesn't really do anything choose text style you want like this one look old speckled old speckled dick old speckled dick old old speckled dragonstone <laughs> oh yeah that's nice okay let's go with this actually let's just go with bold perfect all right i'm happy with this let's return to the workshop look we can look at our we did it when you're ready, advance to the next season. Congratulations on brewing your first beer. Feel free to experiment further. When ready, move to the front door to advance to the next season. Oh, man. Uh, can I put... Do we have, like, a trophy or something? that Like, can I put this somewhere? There, look. Okay, let me just put this bag of sugar on here. Let's put these clips and shit away. I can stow the item. No job tracked. Okay, what do you guys think of um, of brewing? Is it? Do you think it's a lot like uh, real home brewing, or not really? This will end the current season. You will lose any beers you're in the process of brewing, but finished beers will be unaffected. Okay. Pick up the Brewers Quarterly magazine. Where could it be? Oh, it's right here. Uh, let's read it. Greetings, Brewer. Do you know that the best thing about brewing beer is people want to drink it? Few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. It's got all the basics, but without hours of scrubbing shit. Well, that's not bad. It's very sim similar. Okay. All right. Good. I've sent you a copy of the Brewer's Quarterly, a magazine run by the Community Brew Club, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty for home brewers. Recipes, articles, a catalog, and, last but not least, jobs. Which brings me back to your popularity. A brewer's services are always in demand, and jobs are a great way to earn an income whilst increasing your brewing mastery. Why not give one a go? All right. Okay. We can find recipes in here. Track one of the jobs by selecting the Track Job button. Dark Matter? Okay. This is job two. A batch size is small. Use the ingredient dark malt extract. Contains the flavor note citrus. Bonus requirement, IBU is at least 20. SRM is at least 20. Jeff's tip, the recipe for American pale ale extract has the required citrus flavor note. American stout. Straightforward. They're both straightforward. and But this one will give us 
more beer tokens and some mastery and some bonus mastery whilst this one will give us will give us the long neck beer bottle design with less beer tokens okay i'm going to take this one cuz i want to collect bottle designs cuz i think that that'll be good right no page 1 of 15 i can't do it okay let's track this one now that you have a job in mind let's pick a recipe um okay Select the recipes tab. Okay, I'm in a res the recipes tab. Recipes one of two. Yeast, hops, grains. This is the American pale ale extract. There usually be two new recipes in each issue of the Brewers Quarterly, which are automatically added to your collection of recipes in your journal. Right. Each recipe shows the required equipment and ingredients, the steps involved, and the estimated final stats of the beer. When doing a job, you usually want to pin a recipe that matches the job's requirements. For example, if the job requires a certain ingredient, you should find a recipe that contains it. Pinned recipes will appear on the HUD, so you can easily follow the steps while brewing. Okay, so we just want to pin this one. Okay, pinned. Uh, pinned recipes like track jobs can be changed at any time. You can do this in the recipe section in the Brewer's Quarterly or in your journal. Okay. Each issue of the Brewer's Quarterly also includes beer-related articles, which are automatically added to the Brewpedia. Great for expanding your brewing knowledge. When you're ready, select the catalog. This is where you can buy the ingredients needed for your pinned recipe. Okay. Catalog. Okay, the catalog is where you can buy brewing equipment and ingredients as well as cosmetics to decorate your workshop. More items will unlock as you progress through the game, so it's worth visiting every season. <gasps> nice. Pinned recipe. Here you can see all the equipment and ingredients required for your currently pinned recipe, including those you already own. Any that you don't own can be bought immediately or added to your shopping cart. When you purchase all the required ingredients for your recipe, return to the workshop, it's time to get brewing. Oh, man. Okay, so we have some of this crap already. I already have the Ultra Pale Crystal Steepable 400 gram, gram grains. Where is my pinned recipe? Okay, so I need some hops. I just need some hops. Let's get Wenatchee. Okay, I'm buying some Wenatchee for 15 beer tokens. I've done it. Okay. Perfect. We're tracking. We're tracking a job and we're ready to go, right? Let's get out of here. This is the delivery box. Unpack your purchased items. You can find the delivery box near the front door. I've opened it. I'm retrieving. Um, I want all of it. How much did we get? All of it. Okay. Um, items can be bought in your catalog, accessed by your journal. Add 21 liters of water to the brew container. Okay, let's get started on this. I think I bought this, this thing I was missing, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Okay, let's get this. We gotta put 21 liters of this crap in here. Okay, I'm going to advance time a little bit. Uh, it's overflowing. I uh, I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> I got to pour some out. Oh. It's very full. Oh, shit. I need a little bit more. Stop pouring. Let's place this in here. Okay, perfect. Let's get this thing. Let's get this thing going. Okay. I added 21 liters of water to the brew container. Um, wait. Now I have to add malt extract to the brew container. Light malt extract. Wait, it didn't give me a check mark though. Sink brew. I didn't need both hops? I don't think so. Well, maybe I did, you know. Malt extract. Where's the malt extract again? Amber or light? Let's go amber this time. 
250 grams? No. 2.5 kilograms. Holy crap. And what do we need? 2.5? So I need another 250 grams. 5, 6, 2 kilograms. So I have to put all this stuff. I gotta put all this stuff in it, right? Okay, I'm putting it in. That's a lot, right? Maybe it's too much? It does say 2.5 kilograms, though. Okay, there's two. Okay, I can, I can throw this out. Let's pour this one in. Can you mix malts? Are you allowed? Or no, you're not allowed. Fucked it. What? Wrong malt. What are you talking about? It's all in there? Maybe not. Did I actually screw it all up? Look, I'm not getting a check mark for the uh, for the water either. Malt vinegar. It is supposed to check mark by itself if he does it right. Pour one out for Coolio. Oh man, don't. Poor Coolio, man. He's only 59 as well. All right, I'll restart. I'm restarting. Okay, add 21 liters of water to the brew container. This is a fermentation container. What? This is a brew pot small. 21 liters. Add 21 liters of water to the brew container. I'm doing it. Okay, there's 21.87 liters of water in the brew container now, but it's not giving me a check mark. Oh, you gotta press P to mark as checked. I see, I see. Okay, so now we need 2.5 kilograms of light malt extract. Okay, so we want... Yeah. And we're going to pour 2.5 kilograms in here, right? Of the light. Ew, it's so gross. Okay, I've stopped pouring. Okay, that's done. Add steepable grain. Add steepable grain to brew container. Ultra pale crystal, 400 grams. Okay, where is this one again? It's in here, right? No, it's in here. Ultra pale, it said. Did it say ultra pale? 400 grams of ultra pale. Four hundred grams. Okay. We can put this in. It's in. Alright. Heat the uh we're gonna heat up the wart now. Right? So that it's a hundred degrees. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Okay, it's uh, it's it's bubbling and brewing. Remove the steeple grain from the. Okay, we got to remove this now. And add hops to boil. Add hops to boil. Um, okay, that's done. Remove steeple grain from the brew container. Done. Add hops to boil for 50 minutes. We need 20 grams of tro, tro, troe. Okay, I need to buy this stuff. I don't have it. Uh, is it track jobs? Where's the uh, where's the catalog again? Recipes. Overview catalog. Okay. So what is it that I want? Ingredients. Uh, it's this stuff that I want, right? Which one is it? It's this one. How much do you get? For five for five things. Buy? Okay, I purchased it. It's purchased. Nice. Alright, so we need twenty grams. Oh shit, yeah, I gotta open the, the parcel, right? Uh, special delivery of uh, this crap. Thanks so much. I don't know how much we got here. The maximum? Okay. Good. I'm ready to, um, to grab this out of here. It's, it. it's this, right? Oh, how much was it again? 20 grams of this. 20 grams. Okay, I'm adding the hops. Done. I need 50 grams of Wenatchee. Done. Um, and I have to put that in for... Uh, 60 minutes. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I should have done the other one first, right? So I, I need to, to advance time to, uh, to 354. No problem. Wait, no. The other one can't stay in for an hour, right? It's going to be fucked. <laughs> you can't do it like this. <laughs> okay. Done. Uh, done and done. That's done. Okay, let's get these out of here. We gotta cool this down, so we gotta advance a day. Okay, done. Transfer to the fermentation container. This might taste like shit. We're, we're, <laughs> we're gonna find out. <laughs> I brewed it for far too long. We're, 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 we're putting our own spin on things, right? Okay, let's put this thing in here for the next one. Okay, transferred. Add yeast to the fermentation container. We need some SoCal Ale, 150 grams. I think it's in here, right? Yeast? No. Nope. Maybe not. Does yeast have to be refrigerated? Oh, it was this one, right? 150 grams of this one? Wait, what do... Can I put this uh, back in here? Okay, done. How much, how much was it again? 150. Sorry. <laughs> 150 grams of this. Okay, so we got to put this in. This is just 150 grams straight up, so we can put the whole package in. Nice. 
Let's chuck this in the garbage. Done. Ferment at 20 degrees for 15 days. 15 days. Okay. It's fermenting. This is going to be glorious, by the way. It's going to taste so good. Okay. It's fermented. Add the other ingredient to fermentation container. Corn sugar. 170 grams of corn sugar. Okay. Let's take this off. Let's pour 170 grams of corn sugar in. Roughly. It's roughly. That, that's 185. It'll have to do, right? Okay, let's put this back in. Wait, we didn't want to put that in here. It's fine. Okay, let's put the lid back on. Okay, and we have to transfer to a conditioning container? What the fuck is that? What's a conditioning container? The barrel? Oh, yeah, it is the plastic barrel small. Okay, I've got it. Let's put this thing on the ground here. Let's put this thing here. And then let's... Um... Oh, you can rotate it as well. Nice. Perfect. Even better. Okay. Take this lid off here. Let's connect this tube into here like this. And then we can uh, open and close the tap. It's transferring. Okay, it's all transferred. Condition for 21 days. Okay, I'm taking my tube back. I'm closing this. I think if you put it like this, yeah, perfect. 21 days. Man, you gotta wait around a lot for for brews. Okay, done. Conditioned? Okay, let's taste and package this bad boy now. Here come the results. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's extremely hazy. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Is that bad? Slightly malty and sweet. Uh oh. It's crisp and clean. Look at that. Look at how crisp and clean it is. Hoppy and bitter. It's all over the damn place. <laughs> is that bad? Is it really bad? <laughs> so crisp and so clean. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's super bitter. Look at how bitter it is. Oh, no. 8.6 contamination? Shit. Okay, it's an American strong ale. Uh, it's a 70% American strong ale. The bitterness is off the charts. It's a, it's a, it's about as bad as me playing uh, uh, Omega Strikers. Did I use bile to brew it? <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Okay, some jobs can require you to brew a certain style of beer. To meet that requirement, be sure to select the style here. Though, it will need to be one of the top five styles that best that best match your beer. Once you're done packaging your beer. You can submit it to a job or return to the workshop. If you choose the latter, the finished conditioning container will be placed in the keg rack or cellar for later use. Okay. All right. Beer name. Um, what are we going to call this one? 
Uh, Tony, Tony, Tony Dynamite. Okay. It's Tony Dynamite. The, the American Strong Ale in a Belgian bottle. Uh, we're going to go for the um, Stout. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Label maker. Uh, illustration. Texture. What uh, what would you say captures the 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 bitterness? Whatever this thing is. Okay, nice. We just want to make sure that it pops as well, right? That. And now it's popping. Holy shit. Look out. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Tony Dynamite. I've submitted Tony Dynamite to the judging panel. To submit a beer to a job, it must match the requirements. Once a beer is submitted, it will be lost. But you'll get to keep a bottle of it for display. Uh, okay. So, uh, track job is Sensational Citrus. It doesn't, it doesn't contain the flavor note citrus. So I can't submit it. Tony Dynamite is not good for either of these jobs. Sensational cit citrus. How do I put the flavor note citrus into this? It's not, not bitter. It's not good. <laughs> How do you do it? You have to add less sugar. Oh, you got to try again. Damn. That's hard. Okay, let's put Tony Dynamite. Oh, look. We got old speckled dick and Tony Dynamite in here ready for some sampling if, if anybody would like to come over and try it out nice okay so what we need to do is an american pale ale extract which we really fucked up on for sensational citrus so we have to add 21 liters of water to our thing. We're going to try this again, okay, chat? 21 liters. All right, let's get this on here. Done. Add malt extract to the brew. So we need 2.5 kilograms of light malt extract, right? Okay. 2.5 kilograms I'm gonna get it this time okay trust me I'm I'm good at this I know what I'm doing okay let's place that in there done Okay, now we have to add the steepable grain to brew container. Ultra pale crystal, 400 grams. Ultra pale crystal steepable. 400 grams. Got it. Okay, we hook this on here. Perfect. Now we just heat this baby up to 100 degrees Celsius. Will advance time like there's no tomorrow. Looking good. All right, done. Remove this now. It's gone. Good. All right. Now we have to add 20 grams of troe. And we got to boil for 50 minutes. 
So we want to boil uh, until, um, what, 2143. Twenty one forty three. Okay, I've done it. Add hops to boil for ten minutes. Okay, so we can remove this now, right? Now we want to do fifty grams of Wenachi for ten minutes. How much was it? Fifty grams of Wenachi, right? Okay. And then we just need 10 minutes for this one, right? So 54. Done. Okay. Remove hops from brew container. Done. And then we cool the wart, right? For a day. I uh, did not turn the uh, the thing. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't turn the oven off. Oh no! <laughs> I gotta redo all this. Oh shit! Oh man. Okay, I've cleaned it. Shit! I can't believe it. Oh, no. Okay, I gotta pick this bad boy up and pour some of it out. Whoops. Okay, done. Let's try again. Okay. All right. 2.5 kilograms of light malt extract. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'm pouring into it. I'm pouring in. Okay, let's put this back. Done. Okay. Ultra Pale Crystal, 400 grams. Okay. Done. All right. Now we got to heat this up. Don't worry, Chad. I got this. I'm a seasoned professional. I've made uh, a couple of my own home brews before. Okay, perfect. Done. Remove the sepal grain from the brew container. Removed. Let's put it in the fridge. Done. Okay. We have to boil 20 grams of troe for 50 minutes. Uh, 50 minutes. So what's that going to be? Um, 3.09 a.m. <laughs> Shit. We're up late. You're doing great, Dad! Perfect. Sipsy, my dude. Yeah. What's up? I caught the start of the stream on VOD just now Fe and wanted to convey my sincere and heartfelt best wishes for everything. Thank you. I am sure that all will be fine. Also, peeing on robots is a rare but potent kink. It's true. Lots of love. Hey, Jim TWB, thanks so much. Thanks for the 25. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the well wishes as well. I think it'll be fine, honestly. I mean, we'll see, I guess, but uh, thank you. 50 grams of Wenatchee for 10 minutes. 50 grams. Got it. 10 minutes. 
So, 320. Okay, good. Done. Remove the hops. Cool the wart. Okay. Now we can skip a day. Alright, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, that's done. Transfer to the fermentation container. Gotcha. You know what? Let me put this back here where it was. I enjoyed that. Let's take the top off. Let's get this. Let's pour this in. Look at that. No mess. Stop pouring. Um, let's put this on here for now. Let's clean this. Okay. I've transferred it. We can add uh, 150 grams of SoCal Ale. You're doing great, Dad! Making cider is easier. Just buy apple juice and forget about it for a couple of years. Forget about it. Oops. Okay, we want to put the whole packet in here. Hey, Tom, thanks so much for the 10. I, pre I appreciate it. Yeah, cider would be pretty good, right? Okay, let's put this back on. Chuck this out. So we got to ferment at 20 degrees for 15 days. Okay, 15 days it is. 15 days. Okay. Done. Add uh, some 170 grams of corn sugar. Hundred and seventy grams. Oh I put too much in. It might be too sweet. Okay. Let's go like this. All right, and now we have to transfer to the conditioning container. I need to get another one. Uh, let's put this down here. Let's open it up. Um, and then I just need my, uh, my tube. My tubing. Let's connect this like this. Nice. And then uh, we can uh, open and close the tap. We'll speed up time a little tiny bit. Okay, detach the tube. Close this. And now we got to condition this for 21 days. Oh my shit. Okay, 21 days. It's uh it is going to be day 77 of the summer. Okay. Now we just got to taste and package up the beer. American pale ale extract, hopefully, right? Okay. Come on. Okay, it's pale. Extremely hazy. Malty and sweet. Crisp and clean. Malty and sweet. Fruit and spice. Okay, there's a bit of citrus. This might have done it. It's not... It's it's still quite bitter. With some contamination. Okay, it is 75% an American IPA, which is what we were looking for. Right? Perfect. 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 
Okay, we're gonna call this one uh, Fanta, Fanta the beer. Fanta. The beer. Yeah? American IPA in a Belgian bottle has to be drunk in a big Pilsner glass. And also, we want to put, uh, what is it, the illustration. It's got like a bit of citrus in it. So we want to put like, we want to reflect that in the logo, right? So we're going to use this one. And we're going to make sure that everybody can see it. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now let's just change the scale slightly. So it looks like a slice of orange, right? And then we can, we can change the Y position as well. So it's like right in the middle. Perfect. And then give it a little bit of roughness. How about a little shine and some metallic as well? Perfect. Ooh, okay, that's good. That's nice. All right, Fanta the beer is ready to go. Submitting beer. Okay, look, I can do it. I can submit this beer to the job Sensational Citrus. The organizers of a local food festival are looking for a special beer to celebrate this year's theme of sensational citrus and welcome submissions from quarterly readers. Completed. Nice. Tutorial complete. Congratulations on completing your first job and finishing the tutorial. What next? That's up to you. You could try out the second job, experiment with other brews, or even decorate your workshop using build mode. When you're ready, head to the front door to advance the next season and the next stage in the story. Good luck, brewer. Shit. Okay, Fanta the beer. I need some more places to display the uh, the beers that I'm making, right? Can you put them on here? No. Build mode. Okay, let's open the item menu and see. Oh, shit, yeah. Look at all this furniture you can get. Shelves? Rustic... Rustic shelves, three medium, a single long. Lights, rugs. Oh, shit, yeah. You don't, we don't own any, We. I think we can buy stuff too. I don't have these. Retrieve. Maybe I got to go to the, to the catalog and buy some. I have zero out of one. So what do we want? Rustic shelves, three medium. You're doing great, Dad! Epa beer is great. They are just perfect for those long summer days when you don't know if you want to drink liquid poo or just plain urine. So instead you drink both blended together. Hee hee lol. Hee hee lol. Exactly, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Thank you so much, Jim TWB. Again, for the 10, I... I I appreciate it. I just bought this game. It's very impressionable. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's just like a it's a it's just a nice one to, to chill out to, isn't it? You can just make your own brews and you got your own house and stuff. We need to go to the catalog and possibly buy some cosmetics. Here we go. Okay, what are we buying? There's so, so many different shelves. Look, there's three long shelves here. Let's get the three medium ones. It costs 20 tokens to buy this. Anything else that we want while we're here? A rug, maybe? A cool chair that you can sit on? Some tables? A plant? There's some fridge magnets? Framed pictures? Oh, man. Okay, there's nothing in the spooky category. You want to get a cool... It's 10... 10 big ones for this. I bought it. All right. Let me just open this package. Um, I can't retrieve for some reason. Store. Store. 
Oh, wait. Maybe I just got to... Uh, you can retrieve bottles of any of your previous beers from the cellar. So if I go into build mode and I go to the item menu... Oh, no. My stuff is not here. How do I unpack this stuff? It won't let me retrieve. Get drunk. No, no, space doesn't work either. For brew room use only. No, I am storing. Look, I'm pressing the button and I'm pressing space. It just... It doesn't do anything. And the retrieve is grayed out. You did a beer challenge thing at a local bar and they had a jalapeno stout and I could have died. <laughs> Can you move the box? I don't think so, no. Is this the one that we just read? Sensational citrus. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Maybe you gotta maybe you gotta wait until like the next season or something. You can clean your workshop by interacting with the cleaning equipment. You can't sit on any of your furniture or anything though, right? Oh there's a calendar in here too. Let's put this up here. There's 337 grams of corn sugar on the shelf here for some reason. Okay, let's place that there. Fanta the beer. Fanta the beer. Perfect, okay. Make some Schraderbrow. 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 Okay. This cleans and returns all equipment and ingredients to storage. You will lose any beers you're in the process of brewing, but it will not affect any finished beers. Okay, yeah, let's clean the whole workshop. Maybe it's uh, unpacked my stuff as well. No, it has not. I, can't, I still can't, I still don't know what to do here. I should just be able to retrieve it, no, right? Get my three medium rustic shelves. Furniture cupboard. No, it's not here. Man, I don't... Oh, maybe it's like... Uh, maybe I'm at the limit because there's like uh, there's a shelf here, right? No, build mode doesn't work either. Open item menu? Yeah, see, it's not there. Retrieve. You're doing great, Dad. Hey, Sips. Yeah. Can you please say, Hey, Hanya, you've got a message for me. Also, an enema for you. Isn't that just called brainwashing? <laughs> Teehee, I'll be thinking of you. All the best. Hey, Hanya, thanks so much for the thirteen thirty nine. Also, Hey, Hanya, you've got a message. I hope. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna use that for, but uh, have fun and good luck. And thank you very much for the donation as well. I appreciate it. You think it's already out? No, no. It's in this box. It is in the box. I just can't uh, retrieve it. Complete a job and wait until next season. How do you uh, wait until next season? Oh, yeah. It's in this door, right? Whilst build mode... Oh, I missed that. Okay. Advance the next season? Yes. Okay. I'm going to open this box. Maybe I can pick this stuff out now. No, I still can't. whatever a fresh season is upon us brewer and that can only mean one thing a new issue of the quarterly what's your favorite tipple i've always been a partial to an ipa and there just so happens to be a job in this issue to brew a hop heavy beer sometimes being editor pays off how about trying your hand at an ipa i just did one it'd meet the hoppy requirement of the job as well as making this old man happy two birds with one brew brew a beer of the category ipa our rewards is a picnic cooler small. Okay. 
Okay, we need to make an an IPA. Um, a tragically a tragically good brew. Or hop to it. Use at least one hops from Germany. Carbonation is at least two. IBU is at least 30. I don't know what this stuff means. A community theater group are planning a daring musical interpretation of Faust and have requested a brew packed with German hops to accompany opening night. Okay. And this one is to celebrate the creation of a new community garden. The organizers are looking for a beer that shows off the importance of hops in brewing. The more bitter, the better. Jeff's tip. Bitterness is measured in IBUs and can be increased by using hops with higher alpha acid content. It's straightforward. And this one will give us a magnet to mark the Garden Brews Community Garden event. I want a magnet. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do this one. Hop to it. Okay. I've done it. Hop to it. Uh, track job. Recipes. IPA. New England IPA extract. Um, is this the one that we want to do? Extremely hazy. This is the one I did last time, right? Extremely hazy. Okay, I guess we're just going to make this one because the only IPA that I know. He definitely wants brew a beer of the category IPA, right? Okay. All right pinning what the heck new england ipa extract add steepable grain to brew container chocolate chocolate what the heck we're making a chocolate beer you guys ready for a chocolate beer He's in there, Willy Wonka. It, chocolate beer is actually good? Really? I don't believe it. Okay, we need 21 liters of this stuff. Twenty-one big liters. Alright, done. Uh, okay, so we need um, we need light malt extract. We need three kilograms of light malt extract, and we need some wheat malt extract, six hundred grams. Wheat malt. Okay, so what was it? It was, um, oh shit, I need to go pick up my uh, my stuff as well, right? Wheat malt extract, I've retrieved. Okay, let me place this in here. So the wheat, I need 600 grams of uh, wheat malt, right? And three kilograms of light malt. What was it? 600 grams of wheat malt. Okay. So this is the amber malt. Wait. Malt. That's the light and that's... This is the light, right? So the light we need 3 kilograms of. Okay. I'm pouring it all in. Ugh. Gross. OK, 
Okay, good. Let's chuck that in the garbage. And then we need 600 grams of this, right? <laughs> I don't want to put too much in. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, 600 grams in. Let's place that in there. Perfect. Okay, we need steeple grain to brew. We need chocolate steepable, which I, I don't think I have. Steepable ingredients. Uh, was it chocolate? Wait, this isn't the right stuff, is it? It's this. No, this. No. This, this, chocolate. Okay, I bought it. Those are hops, yeah, I know, sorry. Okay, I've got a, a kilogram. I only need a hundred grams of it though. Wait, it's in here. Okay, 100 grams. It's in. Okay. Let's boil this up. Man, it's going to smell delicious in here with this chocolate. Let me try some of the old speckled dick. You nobody can try my old speckled dick, okay? It's my own private home brew. All right. Done. Remove the chocolate steepable. I'm removing. It's gone. Boom. Okay, we need uh, 20 grams of cateriteri. Uh, where is that? Cateriteri. It's this, right? It's this. It's it's this. It's this one. Cateriteri. Where does that come in from? Cateriteri. This one, this, ah, okay, let's buy this, nice. And what's the other one that we need? Huntsman's Flight. Um, ingredients, Huntsman's Flight. Buying. Okay, let me, um... Go grab this stuff. Nice. Just put this stuff away. All right. So we want uh, 20 grams of, of Kateriteri. Um, and that needs to be boiled for 50 minutes. Perfect. Done. And then we need uh, 10 minutes of 60 grams of... Huntsman's Flight. 60 grams of Huntsman's Flight. For 10 minutes. Done. Done. Okay. Let's turn it off. Let's cool it down. It's cooled. Uh, let's get this fermentation container out. Twenty five liters. I need a bigger. Wait, what? 
It says there's not enough space to pour into the container. What? Oh shit. Oh. I think it was too close to the wall. There, that's better. Okay, nice. Let's put this back on. Let's clean that. Done. Okay, we need North American Ale 1, 150 grams of this yeast. The North American Ale. Oh, I need to buy it. Okay, ingredients, yeast, this one. Buying it. Splish splash, I was uh, making a brew. Okay, 150 grams of this stuff in here. Nice. Okay, 15 days we wait now. Incredible. Okay, we need 160 grams of corn sugar. Hundred and sixty grams. <gasps> oh shit, it's so hard. Okay, good. Done. Transfer to the conditioning container, no problem. That's a fermentation container. I need the tube. Tube retrieved. Connecting tube. Tube connected. Uh, opening the tab. Advancing time. All right. Let's get rid of this tube. close this done we got to condition this for 21 days now this is the recipe for death claw no 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 this is the good stuff okay taste and package the beer new england ipa ready to be tasted i'm tasting Look at that, it's red. Oh yeah, here we go. Extremely hazy, to be expected. Slightly malty and sweet. Mmm, crisp and clean. Dark and roasted, malty and sweet. Fruit and spice is off the damn charts. Hoppy and bitter. Nice, okay, it's very citrusy. Look at that. The body is very heavy. Low contamination. Look at that. Activity and recipe match. 69% New England IPA. Nailed it. Holy crap. Uh, fruity McTootie. Wait. Fruity Mc Fruity McTootie. Very nice. Okay. You must enjoy this in a nonic pint. There we go. Because it's an English IPA, right? And then uh, we're going to definitely want to have a good illustration in here. We're going to go for this one here. 
because it no this one looks more like fruits right perfect submitting look at that gosh i'm thirsty now all right track job hop to it we get the fridge magnet we could submit this we've we've only gone and done it now we can wait until next season a pristine brew I got, I've got, I got an achieve for that. Pristine brew. Fruity McTootie. That one's going on the, okay, where's my, um, where's my magnet? Where, where do you get the, where do you get the magnet from? Is it in, in the delivery? Okay, I can't retrieve any of, oh, I got it. Oh. Oh, you actually have to click the thing? Okay. Did it. Okay, my garden brew magnet, please. Oh, yes. Okay, where's my can opener one as well? Retrieving. Look at my fridge. Okay, and I want to place my rustic shelves. Perfect. Okay. I want to... I want to display all of the beers that I've made nicely on this shelf. Not in here. Okay. This one is Tony Dynamite. It's one of my earlier brews. Nobody will ever want to consume that, though. It's like motor oil. This one, though, old speckled dick with a Satan goat on the front of the bottle. A much nicer brew. 4.2% alcohol in that bad boy. Yeah? You can pick up several. Oh, whoops. Okay, I thought you could only do one at a time. Okay, and then Fanta the beer. No good. I would not recommend it. But these are the brews that we've made so far. Okay. Let's do a cleanup. And then let's go to the next season and see what's next. It's winter. It's winter time. Looks like I got a little... This should help with your first all-grain brew. I hope it serves you as well as it did me. Got a picnic cooler here. Okay. Let's store it. Brewers Quarterly. It's time for the next vital step in your journey, Brewer. All grain brews replace malt extracts with, you guessed it, grains. And in so doing, open up a vast new world of flavor combinations and mouth-watering beer styles. Believe me, once you go all grain, you'll never go back. I've sent you a package containing a trusted companion to all home brewers, a repurposed picnic cooler. This will serve as your mash tun. Used in all grain recipes to get sugars out of the grains. You'll essentially be making your own extract now. You'll find a couple of all grain recipes in the latest issue of the quarterly to get you started. Let's get mashing. Using a mash tun complete an all grain brew. Beer detected. Game of foams. <laughs> oh man. A local board game cafe is looking for delicious pale ale. To feature in their regular event, Tabletop Tipples. Okay. What about local metal detecting club, the Dirt Sharks, have requested an all-grain brew to commemorate their recent milestone of a thousand bottle caps discovered, plus one Roman coin. Okay. So, we have to do um, the all-grain one, right? Make sure to use an all-grain recipe to fulfill this job. All-grain brewing requires a mash tun. So we can make a pale ale with uh, with an all grain recipe, right? And this one is just an all grain brew. This is an average difficulty, and this is a straightforward one. For this one, we get a bottle cap style after the logo of Oroch, Oroch Digital, the people that made this game, I think. This one, we just get uh, just a bunch of like uh, uninteresting stuff, right? So we get. Actually, we get more from this one, beer detected, right? But it's a it's it's a harder difficulty. 
a standard level of challenge suitable for brewers that have a few beers under their belts. Okay, let's do this one. All grain. This can be any all grain, right? Okay. New England IPA. No. Beer detected recipes. Uh, a Belgian IPA. A New England IPA. Wheat beer. American stout. Current stage. All grain brewing. How do I how do I do an any beer that uses large amounts of wheat malt in its grist? The classic German wheat beer is very pale with yeast derived notes of banana and cloves. Do a Belgian. Do a stout. Very dark or black beers, usually with a long lasting head, often heavy bodied, though not always high ABV. Stout. Uh what do you want to get? The American stout? Oh, yeah, look at that. A variant of the all-grain recipe that removes many of the steps so that it's more suitable for novice brewers. The result is similar in character, though a touch stronger and trading some bitter. A variant of the all-grain recipe. So we ne actually need an all-grain recipe, though, right? Where is my Where is my all-grain recipe? Oh, this one's a, this one, the blonde ale. This one needs a mash ton. Add grain to mash ton. American pale ale, crystal amber, or malted wheat. So this is an this is a this is an all grain one, right? Nothing that says extracts. Okay. A simpler recipe that many with fewer ingredients, including an unusual one, honey. This is. Added to balance the citrus and floral notes from the hops. Add a subtle honey flavor. Goes straight through the final beer. Keep your honey light, though. Nothing is allowed to darken what needs to be a very pale end result. Okay, standard flavors. Crisp and clean, malty and sweet, fruit and spice, hoppy and bitter. And off. 0 0.7. Off. <laughs> I just got a picture of both of my daughters wearing matching Halloween costumes. I, it's not even October yet. This is the game for you? It's kind of neat, isn't it? It's it's good. Okay, transfer wart from mash tun to brew container. Okay, we're going to pin this one. We're going to do this one. This is a blonde ale. We're making a blonde ale. So we have to add grain to mash tun. We need three kilograms of American pale ale. 250 grams of crystal amber and 180 grams of malted wheat. Ingredients. So what is it that we needed? American pale? American pale, crystal amber and malted wheat. Oh, was it American Pale Ale or American Pale? Amber. Crystal Amber. It was Crystal Amber and Malted Wheat, right? Let me make sure that I got... Okay, so it's American Pale Ale, Crystal Amber, and Malted Wheat. Do I have any of this stuff right now? No, I don't own any grains right now. Okay, American Pale Ale, Crystal Amber, and Malted Wheat. Oh, look, you can just do it from here. American Pale Ale, you can buy this. Crystal Amber, and Malted Wheat. We need Blackwood Hops, Cascader, and we need some honey as well. Okay, that's much easier, right? Now we have everything that we need. We just got to open the delivery. I stored all of it. Okay, add grain to the mash tun. Retrieving. 
let's remove the lid. Oh, okay. So we need three kilograms of American pale ale. Three kilograms of this stuff. Three kilos. shit okay good um 250 grams of crystal amber 250 grams Um, and, uh, I need 180 grams of malted wheat. 180 grams of this stuff. One eighty. Good enough. Okay. Done. All right. I need to add 21 liters of water to the brew container. Twenty-one liters of water to brew container and heat to seventy-four degrees, and then add ten liters of hot water to the mash tun to heat the mash to sixty-five degrees. Hold the mash at sixty-five degrees for an hour by topping up with hot water when required. That's going to be impossible. That's actually going to be impossible. I can't do that. So what do we have to get it to? 74 degrees. Seventy-four degrees. Okay. So I need to pour 10 liters of this into here. Ten liters. Okay, I've done it. It's sixty five degrees. So if I put this lid on, I got to hold it here 65 degrees for an hour. So until 11.59. And if it gets too cold, I got to top it up with some hot water again to keep it at 65 degrees. This is going to be impossible. Look, it's already getting too cold. Okay, that's heated it up a little bit. Let's put the thing back on. Um, what was it? 11.59, right? Shit. <clears throat> Hold the mash at 65 degrees for an hour. Oh man. Hey, this is this is the worst. 
Need to warm the water back up? Oh yeah, you're right. It's getting cold. Fuck. We still have like uh like just under an hour to go. The the it cooled down so much. Okay. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> the temperature goes down so fast. I get I've got the lid on. It should go down that fast, right? Okay. Let me take this lid off. Let's heat it back up a little bit. Okay, 66.52 now. It's pretty good. We should be able to get a little bit of uh, time off that. Only a tiny bit. Oh my god, man. We still have how many minutes to go? 11.59. Oh, Jesus. Like 40 minutes left. Maybe you get better mash tons later? Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe. Oh, shit. We gotta, we gotta warm this back up, too. Look, it's getting all cold. There's only three liters left in here. Just heat it to 99 and add small volumes. We have to hold the mash at 65 degrees for an hour. Perform the mash out. Heat 11 liters of water to 100 in the brew container and then tra transfer it to the mash tun. Holy crap. There's no way that we can fit 11 liters in this thing. It's almost full up. We can't do it. We can't. There's not room for 11 liters of water in here. Yeah, there's only three three liters left. You're right. Ew, look at it. It's moving around. It's disgusting. That's disgusting. Never learn how the sausage is made? No, no, no. It's a restart. No, come on. What are you talking about? What do you mean? There's only 1.74 liters left in here. Pour it in. No, no. I'm not wasting this. Picnic cooler small. Well, that's it for the brew pot. You know what? We're nearly there, right? Was it 11.59? Oh my god, look at how cold it's getting. We have no chance of doing this, by the way. 11.59. Okay, done. <laughs> Perform the mash out. Heat 11 liters of water to 100 degrees in the brew container, then transfer to the mash tun. Okay, and then transfer the wort from mash tun to the brew container. Where's the blue, Where's the brew container? This is conditioning. This is the brew. Oh, it's just the pot. 
Okay. So then we gotta heat this till it's a hundred degrees. Transfer the wart from the mash tun into the brew container. <laughs> How do I pour this into here? <laughs> You cannot pour from this container. Wait, really? So how do you, oh, from the tap. You gotta do it from the tap. Okay, let me put the lid on. Okay, I'm putting the pot on the floor. Where is this stupid tube? Okay, retrieving the tube. Ew. Uh. Okay. Fine. Let's put this here. Um. There's some shit left at the bottom here. Okay, let's clean out the mash tun. All right. I've, I've transferred it. Okay, now we got to heat this up till it's a hundred degrees. I don't know if I mashed out properly, but we're, we're going to find out, right? Hopefully we've made the best goddamn beer that the world has ever seen. Okay, boiling? Add hops to boil for 50, so we need five grams of black wood. Just five grams. Um, and that's got to boil for 50 minutes. What time is it now? So we, so at 5.18. Perfect. Put that back in there. That's done. Uh, we need 50 grams of honey. I guess honey isn't stored in the fridge. Honey. 50 grams of honey. Bloop, 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 bloop. Perfect. Holy shit. Bang on. Okay, the honey is done. Uh, 10 minutes for 55 grams of Cascader. Fifty-five grams of Cascader. For 10 minutes. Done? Done? All right, let's let her cool down over the course of a day. Okay, it's at 20 degrees. Now we just got to get this into a fermentation container. Oh yeah, look at it, it's a different color. that on let's clean our our pot done okay we need 150 grams of socal ale 150 grams it's the whole packet Nice. All right. And then 15 days we have to wait. Done. 
Uh, we need 150 grams of corn sugar. 150 grams. It's always tricky with the sugar. <gasps> okay, good enough. Nice. Okay, and then we got to transfer to the conditioning container. Nice. And then we have to condition it for 21 days. Okay. Are you guys ready for the moment of truth? <laughs> Let's see if the mash, the mashing, the mash out worked. I don't think it did somehow. We're about to find out. Okay, it looks pale at least. It's looking nice and pale. Nice. Some good carbonation in there. It's hazy. I think it's meant to be. Malty and sweet. Crisp and clean. Sour and tart. Dark and roasted. Malty and sweet. Fruit and spice. Off. Smoky. Hoppy and bitter. I think off was meant to be like 0 0.7 or something. Shit. Okay, it's not bitter. It's medium body. 9.2% contamination. <laughs> it's a it, it's an American pale ale. I think it was meant to Oh, blonde ale recipe match. It's a 56%. <laughs> Just. Oh man. Okay, I think we did it though. Okay, what are we going to call this? <laughs> My peepee. -pee. Okay. It does look a little bit like my pee pee. Uh, let's get an illustration back here that best reflects what this is. That's nice. S confirm. Okay. My pee pee. My pee pee. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Submitting. It should be yellow. It is. Look at it. Um, okay. Uh, beer detected. If we can, it was a bonus requirement to use any ingredient of the subcategory grains, kilned malts, which I did not do. But it looks like beer detected, the dirt sharks are going to love this one. This is, this also works. Look, we got the bonus requirement for this one too, right? But this one gives me a cool bottle cap. So it actually works for both. We get a bonus 50 beer tokens. This one just gives you a bonus mastery. So I think we're just going to go for beer detected. This is the track job, right? Completed. Nice. New mastery level unlocked home brewer. We got four points this season. We got a new brewmaster magnet as well. I did it. It wasn't perfect, but I used the mash ton. Oh, yeah. My pee pee will be proudly displayed on this shelf with all of my other beers that I made. And hang on one second. Guess what? We've got a new bottle cap that we can use. These, see, we, we're just using like the normal bottle cap, so we can use a new bottle cap now. Okay, now check this out. Open the item menu. Where is it? A oh, it's a giant bottle cap. Never mind. Okay. Brewmaster Magnet.
It's huge. I like it. I like that. Looking good. Look, look, that's pretty good. Okay, let's exit the build mode. Next season. Molson or Labatt? Excuse me? Probably, I would say Labatt, you know. Don't you know? Okay. Advancing. All right. Brewer's quarterly. Brewer, I'm fizzing like a pent-up Dunkler Weissen to share that one of my favorite local breweries, Home and Hearth, will be appearing in the pages of the quarterly from now on. Completing jobs sponsored by Home and Hearth will improve your reputation with them, and I'm sure they'll reward you accordingly. Who knows? One day they might even offer you a commercial slot to sell beers based on your recipe. I also wanted to mention the immersion coils in the catalog. No doubt you've noticed just how long it takes for boiling wort to cool down. Chillers, such as immersion coils, will not only save you hours, but most importantly, the faster your wort cools, the less chance of contamination creeping into your brew. So let's get cooling. Brew a beer using a cooling tool during the process. Exciting. Okay. Local brewery Home and Hearth are looking for an especially pale beer and have invited home brewers to submit a brew with an appropriately low SRM. Okay, in all grain recipes, grains will provide the majority of SRM. To brew a pale beer, use grains with low SRM stats. Okay, we got the Game of Foams one as, again as well, but we're going to go with this one because, look, we get reputation, 20 reputation, 100 tokens, and two masteries. Holy shit. Holy shit. All right. Um, so we have to use a cooling tool. The recipe creator can be used to create new recipes from scratch or to edit existing ones. So we need a really pale uh, one, right? The story objective is to brew a beer using a cooling tool. So we need a, a low SRM. A low SRM on this one, right? Okay. So we want a pale ale. So we can have a blonde ale or an American pale ale. Where's the SRM on this? Where do you see SRM? It has to be low SRM. 5.7 SRM. 9.6. So 5.7 is the palest recipe I have. And it's the one that I just did, the blonde ale. So we're making a bond, a blonde ale again, which I have everything I need for. Uh, what's this? Uh, what's this coil thing? That catalog brew containers. I can get the stainless steel pot large now. I can get. Oh, look at these mash tuns. A basic mash tun. Fermentation conditioning. You can get a pump. Okay, and an immersion coil small. Okay, this only costs 20 bucks. There's a portable gas burner here as well. Placed inside the brew pot to cool hot wort. Use tubes to connect the intake to the sink tap and the outtake to drain into the sink. It's a Swedish made pump. I don't know, is it? All right, let me buy this thing. We have to use a cooling tool, and we're gonna make another blunt. This is actually kind of fun, guys. I don't know if you if you uh, like this sort of thing, but it, it's like doing chemistry. It's fucking kind of kind of awesome, no? Hashtag ad. Your pee pee is a microbrew. My pee pee is a bit of a microbrew as well. My pee pee is a micro. I don't. There, it's gonna have to be a small ass camera that's gonna go into my pee pee in November because it's my my pee pee is tiny, like a micro pee pee. It's gonna have to be like a microscopic camera, you know. Mm, when can we expect an IRL sips brew? Well, 
It's got to be a little pinhole cam. Yeah. Will this be in Dude Sim Alaska? I think it'll have to be. Yeah, it's it's really good. Okay, should we get a different mash ton as well? This is a picnic cooler. I don't want to use the picnic cooler anymore. I'm going to buy a, a, a different one. I'm going to buy a, a basic mash ton small. No, you know what? I'm going to buy a basic mash ton large. It's going to cost me 80 tokens. Okay, let me get a medium then. Because the thing is, designed to keep heat loss to a minimum with a built-in tap to draw off the finished wood at the end of the mash. Okay, I'm going to get a medium because we're making small batches, but because we have to add so much water to the mash to, to keep it warmed up, I'm going to go a bit bigger, okay? Okay, I'm buying it. And then that way we can actually do all of the steps, right? Okay, I've retrieved the mash ton, medium. This can fit 50 liters in it. Oh my god, it's humongous. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, that's so good. Okay. All right, so we have to add to the mash ton three kilograms of American pale ale. We're doing this one again. Three kilograms. Good enough. Uh, we need 250 grams of crystal amber. Sure. And we need 180 grams of malted wheat. Sure. Okay, good. Done. 21 liters of water to the brew container. And we got to heat it up to 74 degrees ish. And then we got to, um, that's done. And then we got to add 10 liters to this, right? 10 liters. Okay. The temperature is 67 degrees in here. Let's leave that there too. Okay, and then we want to, uh, we need to, this for an hour, right? So 11.55. Oh, this loses heat a lot slower. This is much better. Okay, I got to put a little bit more water on here. Sixty-eight. Okay. Was it eleven fifty-five? Okay, it's back up to 66, which should see me through now to 11.55, I think. 
close enough, I would say. Close enough, right? Okay, perfect. Right. Now, so that's done. 65 for an hour is done. Heat 11 liters of water to 100 degrees and then trans transfer it to the... So how much do we have here? Okay. We need 11 liters in here. Sure, let's just do a little bit more. Bringing it to a boil. All right. Perform the mash out, heat 11 liters of water and then transfer it in. So get, we're gonna put this whole thing in here. Let's put that on there. Let's put this in here. Let's clean it. Okay, that's done. Now we gotta transfer the wart from the mash tun to the brew container. No problem. To the brew container, which has just been cleaned, by the way. Um, let's put this on the ground. Let's just get this tube. There's 27 liters in here. It might overflow and make a mess on the ground. <laughs> it's done just that. <laughs> oh no. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's put this here. We Now we have, look at this, 25 glorious liters of wart, right? Very good. Okay, we got to heat this up now until it's boiling. We'll lose a little bit once it starts to boil, right? There we go. Look, it's going down a little bit now. Perfect. That's what you like to see. Am I right? All right. Nice. Done? Okay. Five grams of blackwood. For 50 minutes. Perfect. Done. Uh, 50 grams of honey. Whoops. Too much. It's all right. Uh, we need 55 grams of Cascader for 10 minutes. Thirty-two. Done. Done. Oh, yeah. And then we want to get our coils, right? Our cooler coils. Where is it? Immersion coil small. Intake tap. Use tubes to connect the intake to the sink and the outtake to drain into the sink. This is awesome. Okay, so we're going to connect this to the sink, into the intake. <laughs> I need another tube. Um, wait, can you get multiple tubes? Yeah. It's cooling down. We got to get it to 20 degrees. 
How 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 do we know that they brew a beer using a cooling tool? This takes no time at all. Look at this. 20 degrees. We need to get it to 20, right? Will it ever go below 20? Can it go below 20? Okay, I'm putting my tubes here. My immersion coil. You don't need to uh, to do anything with it. Okay. The okay. The wart has been cooled. Now we got to put it into the fermentation container. Yeah. It looks pale. <laughs> it looks kind of gross though. Okay. There should be less contamination now. Let's clean this pot. Perfect. Okay, we need uh, 150 grams of SoCal ale. Um, and then we have to ferment it for 15 days, right? Oh, the cooling is really neat. Okay, let's put that back on. Done? Okay, so we gotta ferment for 15 days now. Nice, nice. Done? Okay, we have to put 150 grams of corn sugar in. Good enough. Okay, and then we just got to put it into the conditioning container. Which is the plastic barrel. Need to just get this tube. Put that in there like this. Open this up. Empty it out. Remove the tube. Put this on. And then we got to condition this for 21 days. 21 days. Man, I'd be tempted to make beer uh, IRL, honestly. I, it, it seems like kind of fun, no? Okay, it's been 21 days. Now we got to taste and package up this beer. Okay, looking pale. Not not quite blonde though. Like it's a little bit darker than I thought it would be. Slightly hazy. It's a small batch of slightly malty and sweet, crisp and clean. Malty and sweet, fruit and spice. Hoppy and bitter. Mmm. 4.9 honey. Okay, it's not too bitter. It's a light body with 6.8% contamination. Oh, look at that. Look at the recipe match, 94%. Holy shit. What a good brew. What a brew I made. It's tedious and smelly if you do it in your house, to be honest, but satisfying when it's finished. 94% on this brew. Can you believe it? Okay. Crystal PP um, XL. Crystal PP XL. Mmm. That's nice. It's a blonde ale. 
in a in a long neck that's what i'm talking about best enjoyed uh out of a, a chalice incredible okay and then let's just make the background slightly different here crystal pp excel oh god yeah that is so good okay um we can confirm that uh the beer style text the abv text the beer name text i would like uh the scale to be slightly bigger i would also like crystal pp excel blonde ale nice and a different color as well if you please that's incredible okay that is looking really good okay now all we need is the illustration to be different we would like to use this that looks great okay perfect crystal pp excel submitting Look at that. Okay, we've done it. Job, pale in comparison. We got the SRM below 8 for the bonus requirement. So we get bonus reputation. Completed. We're now friends with Home and Hearth. They've given me a magnet. Holy shit. I, 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 do you know what? I finally found a game that I'm actually good at. Like, I am pretty good at this game. Look at all these beers that I made. And look at all these magnets that I've already con co collected as well. Incredible. Just incredible. Okay, let me go pick up my big magnet here. Got it? A real, a real dad game. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, open item menu. Where's my new home and hearth magnet? Yes. We're friends with these guys now. I love that. Look at all these cool beers I've made. I've got all this awesome equipment and stuff too. The mash ton stuff was kind of weird at first with the cooler but when you get the w the better mash ton it's pretty neat actually i'm advancing okay greetings brewer you should be hearing from rosa a fellow quarterly contributor who's usually at the heart of any events going on in the community rosa is just one of several brew club members keen to make the most of your brewing prowess I've introduced you to the world of brewing. They'll help you continue your journey towards mastery. My final request is that you continue to hone your craft. Complete jobs, experiment, get creative, and take your time. Brewing is an art, but it's also a hobby that, like a good beer, should be savored. Reach mastery level connoisseur. Look at that. We're going to get an antique brewing kettle large as a reward from Jeff. Hey, brewer. Jeff's been telling me all about your brewing exploits, and no way I'm going to let him keep your talents to himself. I love nothing more than getting people together, and a freshly brewed beer is a great excuse for that. Who would have guessed? So I'd like to introduce an exciting addition to the Brewers Quarterly. Competitions! There will be a new one every year with the results announced at the end of winter. There's some fantastic prizes on offer, but for me the best part will be seeing and trying... All of the brewing community's creations. Also, you didn't hear from this from me, but the competition's judge has a weakness for caramel. Okay, we're going to get a medium stainless steel pot as a, re as a reward for entering a competition. Okay, look at this. Mild-mannered. A porcelain plate for a cozy kick. 20 reputation. Do we want 30 reputation? Or do we want to get... The porcelain plate, which might be a little bit harder to come by at some point. Home, hearth, and a beer with a warming kick. Such are the essential comforts es espoused, espoused, espoused by local brewery Home and Hearth. 
They've invited homebrewers to help with the third tenant by providing their coziest high ABV brew. Adding more grains will increase a beer's ABV. In a pinch, extra corn sugar can be added before the conditioning stage to similarly boost ABV. Okay, so the bonus requirement... So the requirements is that ABV is at least 5%, but the bonus requirement is that it's between 5 and 6%. Okay, let's do this. We're looking for a brew with ABV. Um, what about Scottish Light? ABV is 3.16%. 8% is too high. 7%, 5.36. This is American Pale Ale. So this, if we get this perfect, this is between 5 and 6, right? American Stout, I don't know how to lower ABV. So we're just going to have to go for something that's... We could do American Wheat Beer. Keep in mind that you're making American Wheat Beer, not the German variety. Ensure that you use New World Hops. These will give you a classic American citrus note instead of the traditional Weiss beer, banana, and cloves. What about a Dunkel's Weiss beer? This is extract. Uh, we can do extract, though. It doesn't need to necessarily mean need to be all grain, right? They just want uh, an ABV beer. Weiss beer goes hard. Maybe if we make one, we'll unlock a new recipe, right? So we just have to add water to the container. We don't need to use the uh, the ton. A good hoist beer with a slice of lemon in it. Oh, yeah. We need caramel for the competition as well, right? Competition. The more happily ever amber. More beer invites you to explore amber ales with us. This is a hugely diverse category of beer, and we can't wait to see what you brew. Take your time, perfect your skills, and join us for judging this winter. Until then, good luck, brewer. So we need to brew any style in the category amber ale. Prefers British ale yeast and has a sweet tooth for caramel. The top prize, first prize, will get a beer mug trophy and a more beer logo cosmetic glass. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it has to be an amber ale, caramel with British ale yeast. An amber ale. So all we can do is the Scottish light. And this uses... A mash ton. We need auric vow, crystal amber, and dark chocolate. So we have it has to be amber, but we don't have caramel. We don't have anything with caramel in it, right? Let's just work let's just concentrate on this job for now and try to get some more recipes unlocked, right? Flavor notes caramel? Oh, was that there? Flavor notes. Flavor notes. Oh yeah, six point six caramel. You're right. So this does, this is a, a a little bit. This does have a little bit of caramel in it. Should we just brew this up and and enter it, and then we'll do the 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 task one as well. This one does need the mash ton. Okay, let's do this one first. I have one hundred ninety five tokens, so I should be able to buy all the stuff that I need, right? Scottish light. Um. Catalog, pinned recipes, got the mash ton. Okay, so we need some of this stuff. And dark chocolate as well. We need Nemesis, Glade, Serena, Northeast Ale. Okay, good. We have 120 tokens. Okay, let's store all this stuff. And then we can get to work, yeah? Oh, this needs to be cleaned, actually. Okay, 
she's all clean. Is this clean? It is now. Okay, nice. You think this thing needs to be cleaned as well? Oh, shit. Maybe we're getting some contamination because this thing wasn't cleaned. I think it's been some time since I last cleaned it. Okay, so we need... What is... What do we, two kilograms of org vow. Two kilograms of this stuff. Easy. This is the, a Scottish light amber ale, right? Okay, nice. Uh, we need 670 grams of crystal amber. Six seventy. Oh my god. Okay, and uh, 110 of dark chocolate. Just a little hint of chocolate. Okay, perfect. Done. All right. We need uh, to add some water to this now. Start heating this up to 70... Three degrees. Um, perfect. And then we just need to add 10 liters in here. Close this. Okay. And then we got to hold the mash at 65 degrees for an hour. So until 1157. Okay, I just need a little bit more water in here. Nine liters. Okay, I just need a little bit more water in here, right? Because what is it, 11 liters? Oh, maybe we don't need to do this one any anymore, actually. Okay, let's just start warming that up anyway. What was it, 11.55? 11.55? For an hour. It's 11.40. I think we just need a, like a little tiny bit more. Just just like like one more little pour. Just to see us through. Perfect. Okay. Let me just put this back. Oh, shit. I got some tea coming. Nice. Yeah, that'll do, right? That'll do. And this is, uh, this is going... Okay. Oh, thank you very much. No, no, it's fine. Thank you. What, the, what, what does sparge mash mean? Sparge mash to produce 21 liters of wort. Do you know what that means? Me? Yeah. What's a sparge? You just sparge it. That whole sentence is gibberish. <laughs> Do you know what sparge means? I'm, I'm making some homebrew beers here, but I don't know what's... Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of crap like in this big cooler that I mix together. Sparge. Have you caught a chub yet? No, I haven't. Simply sparge the mash until you have 21 liters of wort. 
There's uh there's 14 liters of mash in here right now. Is there a sparge button? No. There is not. Oh, you just add water. Drain the mash, then read the water. What? Just add hot water. How hot? Sparge. We can edit the recipe. It doesn't really tell me what what sparge means. Sparge. Cool the water. You just add more water until you have 21 liters? Go to the Brewpedia. Sparge. Mash ton. Uh, mash tons, grains, mash tons, mash ton. It doesn't actually say anything about sparge in here. Sparge. Brewpedia. Contents. Beer. Brewing stages. Conditioning. Contamination. Extract. Brewing. Fermentation. Mashing. You add hot water to the mash to continue to extract sugar. Okay, how hot does the water need to be? Once your match is completed, you drain the entire wort into your boil kettle, and then you add more hot water back into the mash tun with the grain, stir, and let it sit for 20 minutes, and then drain it again. It depends on the recipe. So we're good. we're doing this one. Nobody knows. So so I just get w enough water at seventy five degrees and then just add it to the mash to make up twenty one liters. Yes. All right. So I got to cool this water down to about 74 degrees. I'm pouring. We want 21 liters of mash. Seventeen liters. Okay, I now have 22.48 liters of mash. Transfer warp from mash tun to the brew container. Okay. Let me clean this. I can't pour this. Let me put this on the floor. Okay, I'm cleaning the mash tun. Okay, the wart is on to the brew container. So we gotta turn this on, heat it up to 100. Okay, perfect. 
All right, so we need um, five grams of Nemesis for 50 minutes. Nemesis. Five grams. For 50 minutes. So it'll be at 5.04. Done. Done. Uh, ten minutes of Serena and Glade. Thirty grams each. So Serena. So we need thirty of this. And thirty of this. For 10 minutes. Done. Done. Okay. We now want to cool the warts. The intake. And we want to take this all the way down to 20 degrees. I think I made it too cold. It's 19.88 degrees. Uh, okay, into the fermentation container it goes. It's looking amber to me. It looks like chocolate. Okay, let's clean out this pot. Done. Okay, we need some... Um, we have to add some Northeast Ale, 150 grams. It's going in. I'm yeasting up. Done. Okay, 15 days. It's got to ferment now for 15 days. It's a bit cold. We're hoping for the best. This We're entering this into a competition. It's a little bit crazy. It's, t it's 20 degrees now. It's fine. Okay. All right. So we need uh, 85 grams of corn sugar. 85 grams. Easy now. Not too much. Shit. Oh, no. That's bad. That is bad. 85 grams. Okay. We have to put it into the conditioning container now. Fuck. Okay, and then we got to condition it for 21 days. Okay, let's taste it and see and see what it's like, and then we can submit it for the competition, right? Okay, it looks amber. It's foamy. Oh, good carbonation. 
Brilliantly clear. Look at that. Okay. It's multi and sweet. Look at that. Fruity and spicy. With 8.6 caramel. Oh, man. Oh, the ABV is 4.17%. Oh, that's the other one. Look at that. Light body, 3.6% contamination. 78% a Scottish export. 53% Scottish light. Oh, 53%. Man, I think I put too much sugar in there. I, it, it, I, I was tipping it out nice and gently, and then it just all poured in. What can you do, right? Okay, we're going to call this one um, um, Sweet 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 Caroline. Uh, it's, it's, it's extra sweet. It's a Scottish export. We don't want it to be Scottish export though, right? Oh, wait. Or do we? We want it to be uh, amber, right? Scottish export, Scottish heavy or Scottish light. It's got to be this one, right? Scottish light. In a long neck bottle. Uh, it's best enjoyed out of a beer mug. Mm. And let's go for a delicious... Um, That's nice. That's nice. Okay, we're also just going to adjust the Y position. Look at that. You can make it, you know, you see sometimes those labels where like the, the image like goes off the label, but it's still part of the whole thing. Looks pretty nice. Okay, let's go like that. That looks good. Okay, confirmed. Confirmed. Submitting. Okay, hopefully this wins the goddamn competition, but you never know, right? Um, we can submit this to uh, the competition Happily Ever Amber. It's uh, brew any style in the category Amber Ale. Has a sweet tooth for caramel. Prefers British Ale Yeast. I'm submitting it. Okay. We gotta wait until next season for the results, but we entered the competition. Perfect. Okay, let's put this up here so we can always remember. Right, and the next thing what we wanna do is go to jobs, and we were doing uh, this one, right? With an ABV of at least 5%, between 5 and 6%. So for this one, we want, um, what did we want? Between 5 and 6%. So we can make the American Pale Ale extract. We can do the extract so we don't have to do all the mash ton stuff, right? And we can just submit this one. Okay. Let's see if we have everything that we need for this. So catalog, pinned recipes. Yeah. We don't need to buy anything else for this. We're just going to make this beer. How does that sound? 21 liters of water. Done. Okay. Light malt extract, 2.5 kilograms. Light malt extract. Two point five kilograms of light malt. Ew. Shit. Okay, it's in. 
All right, and then we need steepable grain to brew container ultra pale crystal, 400 grams. 400 grams of this. Okay, and then we gotta heat it up to boiling. Look at it go. Mmm. Looks delicious already. Okay. Let's get this out of here. Removed it. Okay. Uh, we need 20 grams of troe for 50 minutes. Twenty grams of this stuff. For fifty minutes. Um so that's gonna take us to one oh four. Perfect. Um, and then 10 minutes of Wenatchee, 50 grams. Nice. Removed. Cool the wart. Nice. Okay, we're going to cool it right down to 20. Or thereabouts. Ooh. Try to get it, like, right on 20 if we can. Okay, let's get this. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Okay, perfect. Let's get this out of here. Put it here. Okay. Fermentation. Let's clean it. Let's clean that too. Okay, so call SoCal Ale One, 150 grams. I'm supposed to leave the last one in. I did. What do you mean? Done. 15 days of fermentation. I'm fermenting. Fermented? Okay. Uh, 170 grams of corn sugar. One seventy. This is always the tricky part for me. Really hard to. Maybe you can get some like measuring stuff eventually. Pretty good. Okay, transfer to the conditioning container. No problem. Just grab a tube here. Good. Condition for 21 days. OK. 
okay, let's go try this out. This is a American Pale Ale Extract. Okay, it looks fairly pale. Good carbonation. It's extremely hazy. It's meant to be. Slightly malty and sweet. Crisp and clean. Malty and sweet. Fruit and spice. Off. Smoky. Hoppy and bitter. Okay, good. The ABV, oh, it's slightly high, actually, for the bonus. It went up above 6. It was meant to be between 5 and 6. It's at 6.53%. With 6.6% .6 contamination. Okay. It's 75% uh, an American IPA, which is pretty good, I guess. I don't even know if we can submit this. Can we? Okay, beer name, Brewmaster. What are we going to call this one? Um, it's contem. It's not S tier, no. Yeah, okay, fine. Not S tier. Sad face? Submitting? <laughs> just, this, just the saddest brew. Okay. Um, we didn't get the bonus... But we did get the porcelain plate. A blue and white porcelain plate with a hop design. Submitting. Nice. Okay. I'm sad about this one. Not S tier. Alright. We got to wait until next season to see about the competition. Let's see. Let's put this plate somewhere too, shall we? In the kitchen. Uh, where was where where would this come? Oh, yeah, wall decorations. It is a plate. Hell yeah! Look at that. Okay. All right. Let's see how we did on this competition, shall we? Ready. Competitions are always judged at the end of winter. New competition will be announced each spring. Oh, so the competition... What's this delivery? Thanks for entering the competition. This is to help you get started and acquire a medium set of equipment. Ooh, yeah. Hey, Brewer, I'm organizing a fundraising event for a local rowing club who are in desperate need of a new boat for an upcoming race. Will you help? What I have in mind will require brewing a larger batch of beer than you've probably done before, which means you're going to need a larger set of equipment. A medium-sized set should do it. Once you have the equipment, I'll let you in. I'll let you in on the next part of my plan. It's going to be great. Okay, so we need a medium mash tun, a medium fermentation container, and a medium conditioning container. Okay, I've already got the mash tun, actually. Ales of laughter or flavorful brew. Okay. We could do this one for more home and hearth reputation. Any flavor note is of strength 5 or higher. Any flavor note is of strength 8 or higher. A local brewery home and hearth will request a batch of beer with a particularly strong flavor note. Most ingredients add flavor notes. Look for those with particularly high strengths or simply add more of an ingredient to increase the strength of its contributed flavors. Maybe we can just try to make like a, like a honey mead. We can just put a shit ton of honey in there and go for a strength eight flavor note. Yeah? What do you think? I like the sound of this one. I'm going to go for it. And then we get some more reputation, right? And uh, But less beer tokens and far less mastery as well. If we do this one, we'll get three mastery. So a small batch size, a blonde ale, and the SRM has to be between three and six. Do you know what? Fuck, I'm doing this one. We can maybe try to make our own brew with this one, right? Could be fun. Okay, so I've got the medium mash ton. I just got to buy the medium fermentation container and the medium conditioning container, right? So 
So I need the medium fermentation container and the plastic barrel medium as well. Got them. Okay, and then I just got to wait until next season. But I'm going to still do this job anyway. You can do both jobs. You don't just have to do one. You could do both, right? You could do as, mu as many as you want. You can do both jobs at the same time, yeah. I don't know why I don't do both jobs at the same time. It doesn't have to be one or the other. Let's do the uh, flavor uh, one first. Let's take a look at our recipes. Uh, with a Scottish light, a, we could do a Belgian style double. Flavor notes. Look at this. Look at the flavor note on this one. 13.7 banana. 13.5 plum. We'd have to use the, uh, the, the mash tun for this, but also, um... Oh, maybe we don't want to. Maybe we want to work on something that we've done already, so that we can just get the. Because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough stuff to buy all this extra stuff that we need, right? Belgian caramel, flaked wheat, Vienna crystal. Like, uh, no, it's gonna cost a lot, right? And I don't. I only have forty beer tokens left. Did it say not to go over ten flavor? Was that the other quest? No, it didn't. It said it said over six or over eight. Very heavy body. Citrus, citrus seventeen point nine. I mean, uh, this one seems kind of easy, right? New England IPA. We've done this one, right? This is a a, a citrus twelve flavor note. So just doing it as per the recipe is going to give me citrus 12? What's my favorite beer IRL? I don't really have one. I like German beer. Like every time I've been to Germany and Oktoberfest, holy shit, German beer is just out of this world. It's so fucking good. German beer is nice, yeah. Um, do I have everything I need for this New England IPA? I think I do. American Pale Ale extract, I definitely have. What? Uh, how did I get the ABV so high last time? <laughs> Yeast consuming sugars during the fermentation process. So the ABV is something to do with while it's fermenting. Heavy hand on the pour. Probably too much sugar. I thought I had the sugar just about right. Or maybe not. Maybe I had to put like a bit less. So more sugar is a higher ABV. So when it said to put sugar um, in, I put 170 grams. But that... So the 170 grams of sugar took it up to about 6.5% ABV. So, I mean, we can edit the recipe to be lower. I'm kind of scared to do it though. No. Yeast poop is alcohol. Um... So are we going to try to make an American pale ale? Flavor notes in this beer, grapefruit 8.7. Okay, this one. How do I, um, how do I look at the stats of this beer? That I made. Would I need this first? American strong ale. Caramel 4, Woody 6.5, Old Speckled Dick, 
is a British Golden Pale Ale. What the hell? I don't even have a recipe for that. How the hell, heck did I make it? Just turn in one of these. I can't, I can't though. It's not. It doesn't have the flavor note needed. It needs to be uh, higher. Eight point eight on the standard flavor, but the flavor note. Woody, 6.5 on Old Speckled Dick. On Old old Speckled Dick. So this one is Blonde Ale, and the SRM has to be between 3 and 6. Um, and this one has to have a flavor note of five or higher and the bonus requirement is a flavor note of eight or higher blonde a small blonde ale srm between three and six it has to be blonde so these ones don't have a flavor note of higher that uh we could pick this up actually brewmaster We haven't done anything with this one. <laughs> oh. You think recipes are for nerds? You just do do your own? We could submit this one. It's got 5% contamination. So this is actually a blonde ale. It's a 58% match on this job. So we can we could submit this one, right? Old speckled dick. Style blonde ale. Belgian a long neck. Okay, I'm submitting I'm submitting old speckled dick to this job. Uh, which one is it? Ales of laughter? Okay, the SRM is not between uh, three and six, though. That's the only thing. But it is a blonde ale, and it'll get me 100 beer tokens, right? Okay, good. We got a little bonus. Okay, nice. Okay, so... We've got another bottle of Old Speckled Dick here. <laughs> Maybe we would just put it up here with the other ones. Nice. Okay, perfect. All right. And what's the next job? So we completed that one. So this is the flavor note of strength 8 or higher. A flavor note of strength 8 or higher. Let's do something that we have that we've done already, right? A pale ale. Uh, we can do a New England IPA extract and try to hit uh, trying to try to hit a high flavor note. What we, we what would we have to do to hit like uh, a a high flavor note though? Like what? How do how are we getting citrus flavors? Just put a ton of honey in there and some lemon juice. Oh, it's the hops. So the hops that we use for this, the Kateriti or the Huntsman's Flight is what's giving it citrus. So we just might add a little bit more. Oh, it's the hops that we add at the end. These ones here, you mean. Go a little heavy on the hops and leave in a little longer. Okay. We'll do an extract. Okay, so let's go to the catalog and make sure that we've got everything that we need for this. I'm sure we do. We do. Okay.
Uh, whoops. Okay. So we need malt extract. Uh, we so we need three kilograms of light malt. Three kilograms. So this whole thing is going in here. That doesn't look like light malt. It looks like molasses. It's going to overflow. Okay, and then we need 600 grams of wheat malt. Okay, and what do we need? We need uh, chocolate steepable. A hundred grams. Okay. And then we just gotta heat it up. You're telling me, <laughs> don't. I just kept pouring because I'm too lazy to, to restart it. I'm, I'm not a restarter, okay? I don't restart. It's not how I roll. Okay. Done. Done. Alright. So we have to boil Kateriteri. 20 grams of Kateriteri. But let's go like 30. So this is the one that's giving us lime and citrus. Okay, let's go 30 grams of this. And we're going to boil it for just over an hour, okay? To get the flavor note up. Okay, good. And then we want 60 grams of Huntsman's Flight. Which is also giving us tropical fruit and stuff as well, right? And this just needs to be for 10 minutes. Okay, I put it in a little longer. Alright. We just want to cool this. Cooling it right down. Okay. Removing tubes. Tubes removed. Removing immersion coil. Immersion coil removed. All right, it's cooled. Fermentation. Um, we can uh, let's open this up. Let's wash this because I can't remember if I washed it or not. And then we can transfer this in here. It looks very chocolatey. Okay, cleaning that. All right, so we need North American Ale 1. Just a packet.
perfect. Chuck that in the garbage. All right, and then it just needs to be fermented for 15 days. Are you guys hearing this slamming track in the background? Okay, 160 grams of corn sugar. We could go like we can go light on the corn sugar. I think we don't need too much, right? It says 160, but we can probably put like maybe 140 or something. Yeah. Okay, done. And then we just got to put it into the conditioning container. Done. And then we just need 21 days. All right, let's see if this actually hits the flavor notes. We made some, we, we, we just, we did a couple of little, we're gonna call this one Tutti Fruity, uh, cause it's gonna be very fruity. And also uh, we wanna see if it's, oh. Look at this. So did, was it the hops that made it come out as an amber? Extremely hazy. Hoppy and bitter, crisp and clean, dark and roasted, malty and sweet, 10.6 on the fruit and spice, hoppy and bitter. Look at that, citrus, 10.6. Very nice. Okay. The ABV is pretty high, 8.1%. High bitterness, very heavy body, but look at low contamination. Oh, look at this, 80%. It's an imperial stout. American barley wine, a wee heavy. Holy shit. Imperial stout. Okay. What are we calling it? Uh, Tutti Fruity. Um, Tutti Fruity. Label maker, illustration, texture, <laughs> looking good, <laughs> nice, roasty dark booty, tutti fruity the imperial stout, yeah look at this, we got it, the flavorful brew has been completed with a big bonus as well, let's submit it. Very nice. Okay. Next season. Let's put that up there. Holy crap, we've created many brews, chat. Many, many, many brews. Okay. I'm advancing. Now that you have your hands on a set of medium-sized equipment, it's time for the next stage in Rosa's Fundraising Master Plan, TM. I managed to recruit Home and Hearth to the cause, and together we've organized a big old barbecue for the rowing club fundraiser. We both agree that one of your beers would be just the thing to put people in a generous mood, but there will be a lot of thirst to quench, so you need to put that larger set of equipment to good use. There's a job in the quarterly for it. It would mean the world to me and the rowing club if you could get involved. We get Rocky Ale Yeast for completing this uh, this job. An awesome brew. Okay. They need a medium um, where the ABV is between 1 and 4%. The bonus requirement is getting it, fine-tuning it to be between 3 and 4%. So that means a lot less sugar, right? You can switch the batch size of any recipe via drop down the recipe screen. To qualify as a medium batch, the volume of the final beer must be at least 40 liters. For this, we're going to get a euro shaped bottle. 
There's also the tragically good brew that we can do. Use at least one hop from Germany. Carbonation has to be at least, is at least two for the bonus requirement. A new bottle, yeah. Have I made brews, brews Willis yet? No, I have not. One thing I know, your reward is just one packet of yeast that probably costs like a nickel at the grocery store. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. The ram's head logo in red looks kind of like a uterus. Hmm. Damn it. This is a tricky one. Doing a medium batch is going to be a, a tricky one, right? So it, it just has to be a medium batch where the ABV is between 1% and 4%. Okay, let's track it and see what we can make. Recipes. Um, let's see. ABV. So a Scottish light. would have the ABV between 3 and 4%. I think the only thing I have that's that low is a Scottish light. I mean anything else we could we could try to do it ourselves, right? But this one basically uh, I'd be interested to see how many how much sugar goes into this one. 85 grams of grams of corn sugar. Yeast consuming sugars during the fruit. Wait, so so adding corn sugar, adding corn sugar, less corn sugar will affect the ABV. Will make it lower, or and putting more will make it higher. Yeah, I was gonna say because it says yeast consuming sugars which corn sugar doesn't consume yeast does it so how do you how do you mess with this oh corn sugar is for carbonation right okay so what do we do how do we do how do we keep the abv in line here like how do we get it right on what, what do we have to do lots of malt Get a 14% beer. For more ABV, use more malt. I'm happy just hitting the 3.16 here. Because that'll, that'll, that'll satisfy the thing, right? So this is for a medium. A Scottish light medium. 42 liters of water to a brew container. We've done this one before, right? Dark chocolate, crystal amber. We have all the stuff we need for this. The base malts are what gives sugar to the yeast, right? The base malts. So which ones are those? Oh, this is the one uh, with the sparging as well, right? So, So it's this stuff here. The crystal amber, the dark chocolate, and the auric vow that, that do it? We want a pilsner or a pale malt? I don't think I can make a pilsner. But it says the ABV here, and for the job that I was looking at, it needs to be between 3 and 4%. So if I just make this Scottish light, as it says, the ABV should be that, right? Auric Val is the base malt, the four kilograms. What? But what about Crystal Amber and Dark Chocolate? Those are those are base malts as well. What are those ones then? Is Chad actually guessing? Oh, color and flavor. 
All right, so org vow is the base the base malt. So All right, those are specialty malts. Auric is the base. Okay, so what do I do? Just put less auric vow in if I want to get the ABV down a bit more? So if it says put four kilograms of auric vow to achieve 3.16% ABV, should I just leave it? Yes. Okay. We're making a Scottish light. 3.16 is in the range. It is, yeah. Okay, let me just make sure that I actually have um, everything I need here to make a, a medium. Yep, I do. Okay, we have to we have to make some um, some mash this time. Let me just clean this one out. I think it's already clean anyway, though. I like to have it hang over a little bit. You know, it looks more realistic. I think. Okay, so we need uh, some org vow. Four kilograms. Okay, that's that's easy, right? It says to put four kilograms, and I have four kilograms here. Perfect. So... The ABV should be fine. 1.34 kilograms of crystal amber. One point three four. Oh, pretty good. And then 220 grams of chocolate. Of dark chocolate, sorry. 220. Ooh, nice. Okay. I got all of that stuff spot on. 42 liters of water. What do I have to do? I have to use the tube. Because it's so big. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There's no way, right? How much does it want? 42 liters. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. I can't pick it up. It's so, it's so heavy. Sure. Can you get a better hob? Okay, we gotta heat this up to 73 degrees. And then we gotta pour 20 liters in here. One more liter. That's fine. Okay, 67.95. Okay, we've done it. Now we gotta hold it at 65 degrees for a, an hour. 
So till 1237. Close. Let me just put a little tiny bit in here to warm it up a little. Oops. What time is it? That's about right, isn't it? Okay, good. We've held the mash. Okay, now we got to sparge the mash to produce 42 liters of wort. Oh my god. Okay, so we need another 20 liters of water, which is th this much water. We just got to cool it down. Oh shit, I need to get a, a, a medium uh, immersion coil as well, right? Catalog... What? Okay, I got it. Sorry, I thought I had none there for a second. How's my day going? It's going all right, actually. Thanks so much for asking. Okay, I got the medium coil so that I can cool this bitch down when the time comes. Oh, yeah. Connect this to the intake. So we want to just cool this down a little. Like 74 degrees. Just put it on the ground. All right. I'm pouring this in. Need 20 liters in here. That's about right. Nice. Okay. I've sparged. Now we got to put the wart from the mash tun into the big brew container. Let's just clean this out. There's not enough space for this item. What the hell? How come I can't put this on the hob? Did I clean the tube? No, you can't clean the tubes. The tubes don't need to be cleaned. Oh, maybe I gotta move this. The mash ton, you mean? No? Oh. oh, there we go. Okay, done. Let's heat it up. There's a there's a lot in here. It's a it's a big batch. It's a medium batch. Why is it taking like four hours for this to boil? It's kind of crazy, no? Okay, it's boiling. Uh, so we need to add um, 10 grams of Nemesis. Uh, for 50 minutes. Okay. 
Okay. And then we need um, Glade and Serena. 60 grams for 10 minutes. This needs to go in for 10 minutes. Nice. Okay, and then we just gotta cool the wart. Let me just hook this bad boy up to here. And this bad boy up to here. We're cooling. I love this jam, by the way. This is, this is my favorite jam. I don't think you need to wash this thing either. Okay, it's at 20 degrees. We need the big fermentation container. Let's clean it. It's huge. Fifty liters. There's thirty-five point three five liters of uh, of stuff in here. Um, it's meant to be forty liters, though, for it to be a uh, a thing, right? Just add a little bit of water in there. doesn't seem like a good idea. It's got to be 40 liters though, right? The temperature is going way down now too. You think this is fine? Okay, I'm pouring it into here. Holy shit. Look at this batch. That's wild. Luckily, we got such a big kitchen. Okay. Uh, we need uh, Northeast Ale 300. So we need two packs of this, right? Nice. Okay, 20 degrees for 15 days. Okay, we need 170 grams of corn sugar. hundred and seventy grams done and then we just need the big conditioning container the medium one
And then we gotta leave that sit for 21 days. Nice. Okay, hopefully this does the job for the rowing club. It's the end of winter. Day 38 of winter. 38 days of winter. Um, at the end of winter, we'll see if we win that competition as well, right? Okay, so that's done. That's done. Okay. Ooh. Scottish light. Nice. Brilliantly clear. It came in just under, but it's still considered... Medium. Crisp and clean. Fruit and spice. Okay. Sure. It's got it it's got a high citrus taste to it. Alright. Good. Low contamination. Okay. Eighty one percent on the Scottish Light recipe match. Eighty one percent. Not incredible, but it'll do, right? Three point seven percent ABV. So that's between three and four, right? That's what we wanted. It's a mid morning beer. Ugh. We got the bonus, yeah. So it's the Scottish light that we want, right? in the long neck bottle We're, what are we going to call this one um grounds groundskeeper willies pp nice okay good in a it best enjoyed in a pilsner glass i think this one and can we also get a beautiful picture of a rabbit on here. A Scottish light. Nice. 3.7% alcohol. 568 milliliters of, of pure bliss. I'm submitting it. Fix the text. No, I never will. All right. So we get the uh, we get the good uh, we get the good bonus here. We get all of the bonuses. Three and four percent. Beer tokens. We get the euro bottle. Reputation and mastery. Submitting the beer. Continuing. Wait until the next season. Happy medium. Okay, that's our first medium batch of beer. Incredible. Let me just put this bottle up here. The rest of them. Okay. Chat, I'm advancing the day. Oh, what did we get from here? Patron. A home and hearth bottle cap. 125 beer tokens. Nice. I got a new... What's this? Oh, it's a calendar. Okay, I got a new bottle cap for my kitchen. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Complete the job. An awesome brew. Okay, let's wait until next season. Okay, let's see if we win this competition now. If we get that trophy. Holy shit. Yes. Congratulations. The judge granted the above award for your beer. Sweet Caroline. Fuck yeah. First. Happily ever Amber. I won. I'm a con wasser now as well. Look, a small copper tankard. A little thank you for helping me achieve the master plan. No problem. I came across this fascinating piece of brewing history at a recent antique fair. Consider it a thank you for humoring an old man's request and becoming such a valuable member of our brewing community. Holy shit. Look at all this stuff I got. I got the Rocky Ale. I got the Moore Beer Logo Cosmetic Glass. I got the beer mug trophy. I got a small copper tankard and an antique brewing kettle large. I'm the best. Okay, where am I going to put all my trophies? 
Not in the kitchen or in the kitchen? What do you think? We could get another shelf or maybe we could put them up above here so we could admire them whenever we want. Let's see. We got this small copper tankard. Oh, that's, that is nice. That's good. Okay. Yes. Um, what else do we got? We got the beer mug trophy. Oh, shit. It's only a small trophy, but I'll take it. We also got the um, more beer logo cosmetic glass. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we won the thing, right? Nice. And I got that new yeast as well, right? Well, shit. There you go. Open the Brewer's Quarterly Magazine. Okay, I'm saving my game. New save slot. Mast Master Brewer. Nice. Um, Chad, I gotta go. It's late. Uh, sorry for the late start, but um, I mentioned uh, all of the stupid ass hospital crap that I've had to do recently and continue to uh, to need to do. Uh, I got a whole bunch of dad stuff to do tomorrow, so I won't be here tomorrow either. I'm really sorry. I'm going to try to make it up to you over the weekend if possible uh, at the ass hospital. Well, yeah, I mean, it is kind of the ass hospital, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. But, uh, but listen, we did a hashtag ad. What a great hashtag ad. What a great game. Really nice. Really nice. Brewmaster. It just came out today on Steam. You can go and uh, and get it if you like the look of this. If you just want to chill and make some brews and experiment in your own uh, chemistry lab or whatever, you can do it. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I love all this stuff too. I, I love all the, the, the little things that you get for completing tasks and how you can like decorate your workspace and stuff. I, th I think that's just such a nice touch, you know? I love stuff like that. And you just work your way through it. It's uh, it's pretty fun. It's uh, and it's interesting too. You learn a little bit because I think this is all stuff that applies if you wanted to do this in 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 the real world as well. For a simulator, it's pretty nice actually. It's good. Yeah. You hope that my bum is okay? Well, man, I hope my bum is okay as well. Like it's not really my bum. It's my uh, it's it, it's it's my prostate, which is uh, is is easier to access from the bum. You know. But I don't. I don't even know, like, if it is, uh, if it is necessarily my prostate. But they're checking it anyway, just to make sure, you know. For my prostate, yeah. Big, uh, big prayers for my prostate. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thanks. Thank you very much, Chad. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate the uh, the the good lucks and the well wishes. Honestly, I think it'll. It's gonna be fine. But they gotta check, right? It's better to to check. Yeah. Okay, listen, um, I probably, if I can be here tomorrow, I'll try to be, but it's not looking likely. Um, I gotta go, I, I just gotta do so many dad things tomorrow. I gotta, like, mind the baby for a bit. I gotta pick up my son, who's been away at, the, like, this, like, uh, this, this, this school retreat thing. I gotta drive all of his friends home from it as well, and, and it's just a, it's just a really busy day. So, if I can make it, I will. If not, and you don't see me tomorrow, uh, I'll try to get on over the weekend. Failing that, I'll be back on Monday. Um, and we'll uh, maybe we could carry on with a bit more of this. Uh, or perhaps we could we could start doing uh, some uh, like a big playthrough of something. Uh, Rimworld, we need to look at. It's changed. It's had two DLCs that we haven't even touched. We haven't played it in years. Uh, so that might be a good one. Oxygen Not Included has had a whole bunch of updates that I haven't seen um, yet. Factorio's got a million mods that we could mess around with. There's Tech It 2 if we want to play Minecraft. There's a whole bunch of uh, games that that, uh, that wet my whistle. You know what I mean? Having said that, though, I would love something that I can just like binge the shit out of. You know what I mean? Something ideally not... Something like played up, something that's fun that you just get like that you that you like you fiend over, you know. 
Not Overwatch 2. Oh my god, Overwatch 2. I was, I was looking at Diablo 2 Resurrected yesterday because I felt like I felt like playing something something similar to that, but I don't know if Diablo 2 is the one, you know? I don't know. We'll see. Played up with Hapu? I think she, I think Hapu's done with played up. I think she's absolutely done with it. She is she is Omega striking. I think uh, I think the Omega Strikers is, is the uh, is the new uh, is the new fiending uh, one, right? I think she's like high diamond now, but uh, she will not rest until she's like number one. You know? I get it. Wrath Classic? No, no, no! Wow, no, especially not uh, recycled. Wow, Jesus Christ! No thanks. I can't. I I don't think I can play that game. Uh, the I, I, don't, I don't think I can play the classic like without all the quality of life stuff or whatever. There's just no way. There's there are many new city and colony sim games like a lot. Oh, okay, I'll have to like look into them. What about some freaking Valorant? Yeah, last time I played. Oh, hey, what's up, Ravs? Last time I played Valorant, um, I I I think I I, I got into it a little bit more, but man, I don't need to play. I, I do not need to play any competitive games. Like, they just turn me into a fucking yelling mess of a human being, and I, I just don't want to be that person. I'd rather just play games that I enjoy, um, that, uh, that that bring me joy, and not games that frustrate the uh, the shit out of me, you know? I think I'm too, I'm too old to enjoy games like that now. I don't have... I can't keep up with the people that play them and... Even though I actually have time, I have time to dedicate to it. I still choose not to. Like it's just, uh, it's just miserable. I just hate it. You know. I already got my prostate checked once. Why have some nerds check it again? <laughs> yeah, well that's true. That is true, actually. Yeah, I don't need those guys checking out my prostate as well. Cities just had a big update. Yeah, there's been a whole bunch of DLCs for cities that I haven't uh, that I haven't checked out. Right? There's like the airport stuff. There's what's the, what's the new one like promenades and avenues or whatever. Uh, Victoria Three is coming out pretty soon, right? Isn't it like next month or something? Something like that. Twenty fifth of next month. Holy shit! Foxholes finally releasing. I saw a whole bunch of people doing um, ads on that yesterday. I, I haven't played it in a long time. It's a, it's meant to be pretty fun though. Hades, I played. I liked Hades actually. I could I could play some more Hades. Make my own mod pack on Curse. Oh my god. Foxhole has trains now. Wow. Dowie, have you played much Foxhole? Does it satisfy your uh, your World War Two online itch, or not really? Not loads, just a little bit. Oh, nice. Okay. Now that Yogscast have a gaming company, will they develop Dudes in Alaska? I mean, it's a publishing company. There's not, there's, it's not a, a studio. Um, it's surprisingly hard to motivate people to work on a game or to even consider looking at a game you have an idea for. Like, uh, it's it's a weird one for sure. What a great game that was, HC Justin. HC Justin. God, World War II Online, Justin, did you ever play it? Man, I played it way, way back in the day. And uh, I was laughing about it maybe a year or two ago because it looks the fucking exact same. It's unbelievably janky now. Like, uh, I mean, it even was back then. It was dog shit, right? But it, it hasn't changed. Uh, one thing that's kind of impressive about that game, though, is like the uh, ballistic models and stuff, right? Like it's it is a it is a very nerdy game in that sense. You remember sitting on a truck for like two hours, driving to a front line, and then getting sniped in the head? Yeah, that's about it. And uh, I don't know if you remember, but nighttime in that game was just pitch black. Like it was so fucking dumb. Like you could not see a thing. I guess it's probably like that in real life, but you, at least like some nights you might have some moonlight or whatever, you know. But Oh god, you just couldn't you just couldn't do it. I don't know. It's a neat idea for a game, but it was a neat idea for a game in 2001. I I don't know if like it's I don't know if it holds up now, you know. Or maybe well, I guess some people play it, right? King of Retail had its full release. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, King of Retail had its full release. We could check that out too. Bruce Cooper is jealous of Dowie's looks. 
it's probably you want RimWorld. Erica, do you actually like RimWorld? Do you actually like RimWorld, Erica? Did you like the RimWorld playthroughs? It's hard to find games that uh, Erica actually likes, right? She hates Minecraft. She never stops talking about the RimWorld playthroughs. All right, okay. You love RimWorld. All right, okay. Well, fuck. Okay, maybe we'll check out RimWorld. Because they have the royalty thing. And what was the other DLC for RimWorld that came out? I can't remember now. It's been so long since I last played it. Ideology. Oh, that's right. Yeah, ideology. So you can make your own, like, religions and shit, right? Uh, that's kind of cool. Okay, well, we could check that out. Hey, Justin, this uh, this game is really good. I know it's a hashtag ad, but honestly, like, uh, if you want to do some uh, some some chill beer brewing, it's not bad. You get you can win all these like little prizes and shit for doing like a good job on your brews, and you can like decorate your kitchen. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is. It it's neat. It is it is very much a simulator. Like, but I mean, it's 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 well done. It's uh, I don't know much about brewing, but I imagine that it's 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 fairly spot on with like the uh, the technical side of it. You can have naked cannibal cults in RimWorld now. Holy shit! I need a new game to play at night, Justin. I've been playing Project Hospital, but it it sends me to sleep. It's too boring. Like I need something that I need something that'll that'll keep me awake so that I can actually do some gaming. Do you know it's been so bad. I come out here, you've been playing Played Up lately, everything sucks. Yeah, I know. Valo with the boys. Okay, listen, I come out here and I think, oh shit, yeah, you know, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fine tune this hospital and make it more efficient or whatever. Five minutes in, I'm falling asleep and then like, I'm out here for like maybe 20 minutes falling asleep and then I'm just like, fuck, I'm just gonna go watch the crown in bed until I fall asleep. The, I, I can stay awake and watch The Crown of all fucking series. Like the slowest, most boring goddamn show ever. And I, I sit in front of my computer to play a game, I'm falling asleep. The Crown is great, yeah. It's, fuck, it's phenomenal, actually. It's so good. I really enjoy it. Yeah, it is very good. Erica loves The Crown. Man, it's, it's visually very impressive, isn't it? It's great. It is slow, yeah. But uh, it is really neat, though. Hunt Showdown seems kind of cool, but you haven't played it enough yet. You miss getting really mad at FPS games. Hunt is awesome. I might try that then. I don't know. If people are playing it, maybe we can get a little group together. How many people can you play it with? Like three or four or something? Is it three, three max? Oh, okay. You watched me play the American National Anthem on trombones for hours straight? Holy shit, what about old Grey Mare, though? That was tough. Three, played a single raid, then did the one chip challenge and threw up and went offline. <laughs> oh. sometimes, sometimes that's just the way she goes, I guess. Oh, not, good, not as good as trombone skies. I could do some more tromboning. I'd be down for some more trombones for sure. Um, listen, thanks for watching the hashtag ad. If you like Brewmaster, check it out. It's, it's honestly, it's really good. It's uh, one of the better hashtag ad games that we've done for sure. I don't mind uh, admitting. I also downloaded this game called Brotato, which is, I, I think, like Vampire Survivors, but may, it looks like a potato in the art style of The Binding of Isaac. Maybe it's even made by the same people that make The Binding of Isaac. I don't know. Rotato is good? Okay, I'm going to give that one a go too. You ever play Raft? You bought that shit and it should never had? Oh, Justin, the thing with the Raft is it 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 has promise. Like when you play it, you're like, "Fuck, this could be so cool." But all you do is just these really boring fucking jobs endlessly. Like uh like distilling water. Like you 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 float around, collect garbage, and distill water all the time because you're always thirsty or hungry it's 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 very i find it really boring uh, like there's some things that are cool about it like the discovery stuff of it is kind of neat like when you get like a new addition to your raft or whatever but the shark constantly like uh damaging your boat is fucking annoying and uh i don't know it's just 
there's there's parts of it that just aren't that great, honestly. Like I think it's a I think it's a good game, but I got sick of it pretty quick. I don't know. Yeah, sharks are pretty cool, I guess, but I don't know. I feel like the mechanic around the shark could have been a bit more fun or clever or whatever. Hey, it's, Sips, it's I know so this annoying, is a hot right? take, but Cyberpunk is actually fun if you want to play that off stream. Characters and environments remind me of when I played Mass Effect 2. Oh. The problems arise when characters walk through walls and stuff. Yeah, I guess that could be a bit of a problem. Man, the Mass Effect games were kind of cool, though. Mass Effect 1 and 2, I played and I enjoyed them. And I, I couldn't get into 3, but maybe I just wasn't in the right, like, head spot. I don't know if 3 was meant to be good or not. And then Andromeda was meant to be, like, really bad, right? 3 sucked. Oh. 3 was really rushed. Oh. That's a shame. The gameplay was awesome in 3, but the ending was bad. Am I going to check out WoW in its current state at some point? I don't think so. I think I'm done with WoW, honestly. I just don't have the... I don't have the motivation to get stuck into a big MMO now. I tried playing Final Fantasy XIV, which I enjoyed for a bit, but... I don't know, man. I, I'm happy just, like... I, li I like discovering a game, like, like with Played Up. Like with Their Billions. Like with... I like discovering a game and then fiending on it for a bit and then moving on. You know what I mean? I don't like to just stick with, with one game forever. Like, when I played Overwatch, I played it way too much. That was a fun game to fiend on for a little bit, but I, I, I played it way, way too much and turned into, like, an angry mess in the end, too. Hey, Albondi, thanks for the five gift subs. I appreciate it. And uh, just a gong, thanks so much for the 1777. And thanks for the uh, for the tip as well. I'll take a look. I actually own Cyberpunk. I still have never played it. I haven't played Hitman 3 yet, either. I need to, I need to, I need to play Hitman 3 still. I got. I'll get around to it when I'm ready, though. I'm not uh, in a mad rush to play Hitman Three. I understand it's pretty good, though. Hitman's great for the goofs. Oh man, I had so much fun playing Hitman Two. Man, Hitman Two is a phenomenal game. God, it's so good. But yeah, we had a lot of fun playing Hitman Two. Try the Dredge demo. It's got fishing. What is Dredge? What about that? Uh, what about that Dinkum game, the Disney one? You think that's any good, or is it just is it just kind of kind of crap? I don't know if, how much I like those games, honestly. Like even Dinkum was kind of fun for a bit, but like I don't know. Like I think you got to be in the mood to play like those collect everything games, right? Dreamlight, that's the one. Yeah, Dreamlight, Fishing Baron C. I tried playing. Um, I tried playing Call of the Wild, the Angler, and uh, I, th I think I got to mess around with the settings, or maybe it's just not optimized well or something, but it looked like shit, like, and ran like shit as well. I, I, I had it on, like, not even ultra settings, and, uh, and I was getting, like, 15 FPS or something. It was, like, it, it just, I don't know. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to that, too. I love I love doing some fishing, you know. You heard it's rough, yeah. You've been watching my old Hearthstone videos. If you fancy the CCG, you thought about Magic the Gathering Arena? No, I cannot. Magic the Gathering is like off limits. There's no fucking way I'm playing that. Ne never in a million years. It's see, it's too like, you know, like what Hafu says about games, and she's kind of right in some ways. I'm not ultra competitive. So, but like, I feel like Magic has just been around for so long. To play Magic the Gathering for your very first time in 2022 seems like super depressing. Like, like the Teddy Ruxpin theme song on a Sunday night when you have school the next day and you're like five years old levels of depressing. Like, there's no way I'm, I'm getting into that. It's not, I don't know if even if it's too complicated, I just don't want to learn a card game that's been around for 80 years at this point in my life. Like, I, I don't need it. I don't, I, 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 like, I appreciate, like, the, uh, like, the, the, the tip or whatever, but I, I just, I, I can't do it. Magic is older than some of the people in chat. I, I'm I'm sure it's fun. I'm sure it is fun. I mean, people seem to love it, but 
I, I'd also wager that most of the people who seem to love it are people that have played the the physical version of the game and probably have been in tournaments and gone to you know internet or whatever like card card gaming board game cafes and shit like that you know multiplayer magic the gathering commander is great irl have i tried kepler no magic the gathering came out 30 years ago wow that's wild eh? it's a long time valorant am i having a fun time brewing yeah i had a fun time brewing but um but i gotta go i gotta go and uh do the uh the old uh night bedtime routine i might try that hunt showdown though i i feel like i i feel like a, a game with the boys in the evening would be nice you know something like maybe not something as sweaty as tarky but something that we can just you know hang out and play together would be really nice actually Remember to have a look at Wandering Village? Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me, actually, Dowie. i, I got to check that out, Wandering Village. That, that actually looks kind of neat. Something like... I like I, I like I like stuff like that has, you know, resources, a little bit of automation and stuff like that. You know, you guys know the games I like to play. Those, those sort of games. So if there's anything like that... Yeah, Songs of Six looks pretty cool, too. Sweet Transit is out now, too. Oh, I, I didn't check that out, actually. I, I should check it out. Sweet Transit. It's meant to be kind of good, right? FIFA has tons of automation. Farthest Frontier we played for a little bit. It was pretty cool. Um, city Skylines. I, another full City Skylines run? I don't know if I can do it. Wasn't they? Weren't they? Weren't they? Weren't they? Weren't they working on a, a sequel or something like that? Isn't there like a City Skylines tour was teased to be on the on Game Pass or something or leaked or, or something? I don't know. Electrician Simulator, I have actually. I got a key for Electrician Simulator. We can we can give that a go too. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff to play. We'll figure it out. Um, I'll be back uh, when I'm back, but uh, it I'll try tomorrow. Like I said, but it's not looking likely. I got a pretty busy day. I'll try my best though. Okay. Um, listen, chat, thanks so much for, uh, for watching. Thanks for the hashtag. We were only meant to play that game for like an hour or two. And we ended up playing for, uh, for far longer, but it was, it was good. I, I, I like, uh, I like doing a hashtag ad where, where the game is like, you know, you play past what you're contracted to do because the game is good. Uh, those are the, the best ones, right? Really good. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, listen, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the resubs. Thanks for the donations. Keep your peckers up. I hope you have a good uh, rest of your day. Uh, enjoy your Friday as well if I don't see you. Enjoy your weekend as well if I don't see you. And uh, at the very least, I'll be back Monday. But I'll try to be back on before then. Yes? Okay. Peace, chat. LOL. Lots of love. I'll see you soon. Bye now. Bye.